Yep. We're live. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. Stephanie of Stephanie Stitches here with my friend, so Becca. <laughs> Hello, friend Stephanie Stitches. How was you? I'm good. How was you? Happy uh, day after your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Indubitably. Is that even the right Are you having a good one today? I have my hair in a wannabe mom bun, which I showed Stephanie this earlier. You guys are going to laugh. In order to get the mom bun to stay up here, I had to do like the reverse French ponytail at the back of my head with a barrette. <laughs> Just be like, stay up! Because <laughs> the bottom part keeps falling out. But oh my gosh, I have forgotten how much I love having my hair up off of my neck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks cute. Listen, I'm going to rock it for a little while, and I'm sure I'll get to a point where I'm like, okay, it's too long. I need to cut it back shoulder length. But when I got my last haircut, it was an angled bob, so it's longer here than it is back there, and I want to get it evened mm -hmm. out, so I'm trying to grow it out a little bit. Yeah, that makes sense. So now we have matchy buns. <laughs> matchy buns. I think yours probably looks a little bit better than mine, but... Well, Mine's Listen. just bigger, but that's because my hair's so long. It's not because it's, it, my hair's fine and thin, but it's really long. And that's the only reason why I have as much of a bun as I do. <laughs> I feel like Saturdays are for sewing and mom buns. So we got the mom bun. Yep. That means it's time to yep. sew. Especially Saturdays, because Saturdays are usually busy around here. So definitely. Uh, hi, Debbie. Hi, Jacqueline and Celeste and Diane and Kathy. Just want to say hi to everybody really quick. Hi, Brett, 46, and B, hi, Buzz, Ruth, Denise. Hey, Jamie, uh, Vicki, Shelly Clark, Melina, uh, Navy Quilter, or Valerie Masco, Del Marie, hey there, the Crafty Panda, hi, Susan Stuck, Linda, Heather Grintz. Oh, I see Selvecca's on in the chat. <laughs> And Bob, hi, Rebecca. <laughs> hi, Jennifer, Turney, and Natalie, and Evelyn, and Mary. Thank you all so much for being here. Donna, Shelly Stewart, TNC Norton. Um, I'm sure I'm missing people. I'm sorry if I missed you. I didn't mean to. Um, Dia Linda's here, and Pam Miller, Rowena. Terry Cooper, Pam, Beverly. Hey, everybody. Hope you had a good Saturday. Uh, Eileen said, I got a beautiful package in the mail from Stephanie. Awesome. I want to know what was in the package. Huh? I want to know what was in the package. I'll let her tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably fabric of some sort. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for coming to Saturdays with Steph. Uh, usually on Saturdays, um, I show you new things in the shop and then we sew for a while. Um, today, we're not really doing an organized project. Uh, Becca and I are gonna work on our Cotton Cuts Valentine Puzzle Mystery Quilt Clue 3. And after that, if we have some time left, I'm going to bind my quilt. I usually stay on Saturdays with Steph for about two hours. That way you guys can get a break, get some dinner before So Yeah comes on. <laughs> um, and that's about it. But um, I was hoping to show you guys Beautiful Day Today from Cora Yoder. It's her new fabric line. But the truck hasn't come yet. <laughs> it is on the UPS truck headed to my house. But I suspect that they're running behind because of the weather. They didn't come out Thursday or Friday, so the truck is probably packed today. So, darn. I was hoping to show it to you guys because that line is so pretty. But it'll be here, and next Saturday I'll show you guys. Um, so, that's all I have. Do you think what you want to talk about? No, Any, I, was looking to, I was looking to see if I had some beautiful day in the stash. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I already grabbed like a fat quarter bundle or something, but I, I didn't because I'm waiting for it to come into your shop. I think I have a jelly roll or a charm pack that I snagged before, but it's not even worth pulling it out. Well, just a 
just wait till next week if you want to see what it is. But I think the takeaway that I would tell you is don't forget, she's going to have it. So I know it's coming in. The yardage is coming into some other shops, but let's not forget Stephanie's going to have that in her shop. So just be patient. It's coming quick. Thank you. Hey, Kim, how are you doing? Hi, Teresa. Uh, trying to see if I missed anybody. My quilt projects. Hey there. Lois Quinn. She said from soggy Florida, are you guys getting rain? So, um, yeah, we got a ton of snow. Uh, we haven't been able to leave the house until today, but <laughs> the one car was frozen shut. Um, the other car had about a three foot snow drift around it. So we either had to unfreeze one or unbury the other one. So we unburied the one with the snow drift. <laughs> so it's been a fun morning. We did that. And then, um, my husband took uh, our daughter to ballet today, gave me a little bit of a break. I watched the boys and yeah, and then I've been sewing. So anyhow. Hey, uh, Steph, are you going to try to get some of the Dusk to Dawn batiks from Monique Jacobs in your shop? Mm, Inquiring minds want to know, huh? I haven't seen those. Oh my gosh, you missed the live. Okay, so I thought what my light fell. Sorry. Um, so last month I did a live stream with Monique Jacobs. I think so. Yeah, I was going to try to get some of it too, but maybe if you could get like a couple fat quarter bundles or something, people might grab them up. You'll have to look this up because it's, I think she's got a contract with Maywood Studios. Monique Jacobs from Open Gate Quilts has designed this beautiful batik line called yeah. Dusk to Dawn. And her Ooh. husband dropped a couple of pictures in the Facebook group when I was live streaming sewing that mug rug that she put in the January box. Okay. They're gorgeous. We all went gaga over them. I think, so yeah, I was going to try to get some of that. I don't have confirmation that they actually were able to get any. But um, I think Checker has that fabric line available for okay. order. So I'm going to check, check it, out. it out. Yeah, I will. I will. Yeah. Definitely. I did see the pictures. I didn't equate the two for some reason. <laughs> Oh, uh, Dio Linda says, great Saturday. So Becca, your family member who special needs, do they ever do the Tim Tabo, Tabo? I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that right. Tebow. Night to shine. I got it. Night to shine prom. It's a great evening. Just came pick up gift for Friday night. They did drive through. So just, I, I won't get into a lot of this here because it's going to take us away from sewing, but my stepson is special needs, but he's he's really low functioning. So he's not able to do things like that. That he he's there's special needs and able to participate in community events with a little bit of help. And then there's justices end of special needs who needs almost like one-on-one -on -one support for the rest of his life and can't really do a whole lot for himself. There it's a, he's a little bit further on the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm ready to sew. Okay. Me too. <laughs> okay. All so, right. So, did you print out your directions today? I did not, but I have them up on the screen because I felt like why waste a piece of paper or ink? I didn't need the instructions. I just needed the diagram. And I'll tell you, when I opened said sheet of instructions and I started looking at them, I was like, wait a minute. I don't think I have the right sheet. <laughs> I was pretty sure I had the wrong one because they look so similar to clue one. Yes. But then I realized the second part of the clue is definitely different. The second part's different, but I said the same thing when I printed out the page. I was like, wait, did I click the wrong week or the wrong day? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, because that first part looks exactly like the first one. So if you guys watched us so clue one, um, there's sections 3a and 3b like we did 1a and 1b on the first clue and 1a and 3a are like exactly the same <laughs> yep. so we're going to be yep. making the same thing 3b is different than 1b so yeah so here is my little envelope i just cut the tape i pulled I'm pulling out the inside i'm working purples and stephanie is doing the blues so i'll give you my overhead cam that's what my pieces will look like I'm going to go ahead and separate mine into my light, dark, light, medium, dark, and background pile. You want to give them a peeky do of your, your fabrics there, Steph's? Yeah. 
little bit harder. I need to get a second camera set up like you have so I can show people. But here's my colors. Mine are um, three different colors, the blue grunge. So I love them. They're so pretty. Vicky's grandson is getting married on the 22nd Aww. of February. Congratulations. That's amazing. Yes. Okay, so we're going to be making, I'm going to show them without showing them instructions, just because we made these on the first clue. So we're going to making these little squares again with the stripe going through, and then we're going to be making some flying geese. So, yeah. Which one are you going to do first? I think since we've already made the first clue or like the top, the A clue, I want to make the flying geese first. Let's do it. I was thinking that might be easiest too. So, because yeah. then you can just uh, knock out all these little half square triangle units. That's what I was thinking too. So and then whatever white's and... left, whatever white's left over, we'll know it's for the half square triangles. So, yep, yep, yeah. yep. Great minds think alike. So I'm gonna stack up all of my big triangles and my little triangles in a pile, so that I can have a lovely little set of machine line sewing assembly line sewing i think is what they call it yeah or chain piecing or whatever you want to call however you want to call it one two three. i saw on um cotton cuts facebook group somebody who had the green and somebody had the pink and they're all the colors are gorgeous yeah agreed turn my iron on. I'll push this over here. Maybe I can kind of keep it in frame a little bit. I was thinking whoever had the green was smart to get the green because they could use it for Valentine's and then leave it up for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's, it's so interesting because you don't know what this is going to end up looking like. Is it going to be a great big heart or is it going to be something else? Yeah, I mean, I don't know either, but... But that, but the, I mean, just the fact green, that it was green, I was like, oh, that would probably work for both. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. Hi, Kathleen. And let me see. Martha and Jamie's Crafty World. Yeah, Dia Linda, I agree. I think the purple and the blue are both pretty. Uh, we're working on... Hi, Tamala. Um, I am, We're working on the Cotton Cuts Valentine mini puzzle mystery quilt. Um, and then we're just going to do this. It won't take very long, and we'll chat with you guys. And I also have some binding ready to go on one of my quilts. So if I have some time, I might work on that, too. So hopefully, hopefully you guys have a project to work on at home. Uh, Mary said, I have to tell you, thank you for generous cuts of fabric in your project box. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you found that helpful. Martha sent you $4.99. Oh, that was so sweet. Thank you. You guys, you guys are the bestest. They are. Uh, hi, Tammy, the crafting disaster. Thank you, Martha. That was so cute. Where be my ninja flower? <laughs> oh, there it is. Hiding. You know what? I was cleaning up my space a little bit earlier today, and then I was looking for it before we started the live because I figured we'd be chain piecing this, and I couldn't find it. Uh, <laughs> I, I cleaned too well. <laughs> you did. <laughs> make it make it a mess again. It'll make sense. I was sense like, it's just in my hand. <laughs> Hello, Martha. Aww. Brat just got off the sewing machine after being on it for five hours. Oh, wow. Ninja Flower, where'd you go? Oh, you know what? 
I think I put it over here. Hang on, I'll be right back. Sure. Kate said, do you like working with actual triangles to make fine geese? I don't yeah. hate it. I think it works well for me. And I so accustomed to doing them this way because this is just how a puzzle mystery quilt works. You get lots of triangles and there are lots of flying geese units and half square triangles that you put together to make this mystery quilt. So definitely uh, doesn't bother me. Ninja flower. I found ninja flower. I think if I had to choose, I would probably just put squares on there, but yeah. that does waste a bit of fabric. Yeah. You found your ninja flower. I found my ninja flower. Ninja. Ninja. Demi said she's ninja. been sewing for six hours and she's taking a break. Wow. Six hours. She's going to go back and I probably would too. <laughs> Donna Regs is here. Just joining, was playing in my sewing room, putting away my sew yeah notions, stash away. Hi, Stephanie and Becca. Hello. I was supposed to get my sew yeah package today, but it did not show up, even though the mail said it was coming. So I don't know where it's at. Probably stuck because of the snow. Most likely. Vicky said it's storming at my house, supposed to get six inches. Oh my goodness. She can keep them. All six, six of inches them. Of, of rain? I'm assuming rain. Yes, Kate, they are all pre cut. What uh, I'm showing you that we're working with, this is exactly how they came. And that's how all of um, Cotton Cut's Puzzle Mystery Quilts uh, clue from. They pre-cut all the fabrics for you. That's one of the reasons why I keep joining them, because I don't have to cut anything. <laughs> you, know, you just read the instructions and you sew the pieces that are already cut. Yep. So this morning I was thinking about um, how everybody keeps asking about Black Beauty. And I'm getting excited. I can't wait to get it out and start sewing on it. Uh, Kathleen Davis said, my rose in bloom block just arrived. It's been walking from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine, mine done the other day. I was really excited about that. It did yeah. it while I was testing out some of the camera stuff to make sure the electricity stuff was working. Nice. My yard is frozen on top and mushy underneath, Kathleen said. Oh. Oof. Can you go ice skating in your front yard? Um, when Keith shoveled the driveway today, he shoveled everything into the yard. So we already had about a foot of snow in the yard. And now it looks like there's about three feet because of the pile. <laughs> Yeah. Those snow drifts up there, they take forever to go away too. Yeah. But Christopher, my oldest son, was out there playing in the big piles of snow like they were piles of leaves. So he was having a blast. <laughs> he was like jumping in them as Keith was like shoveling the snow into the piles. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie says so yeah puts me to sleep in 10 minutes I can't stay awake to buy anything <laughs> well that's a way to not spend any money with them <laughs> okay I've got my flying geese together I will read the comments while you're knocking those out okay. Kathleen says she is ready for spring mm -hmm. Dio Linda says, everything is delayed because of snow. They dropped package yesterday and my hubby thought it was sewing stuff for me. And it was for the assisted living down the street. Oh. So she got the, the neighbor's stuff. <laughs> um. Kathleen said, I am looking forward to the spring sew along so we can imagine flowers in bloom and no more snow. Yes. 
<laughs> Heather said, one year I could have gone swimming in my front yard. We reminisce about that year and refer to it as Lake Grints. <laughs> So I'm assuming if it was here, she got her power back because her power was off for a while. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Crafty Panda said it's a cr incredibly windy and cold here today in Virginia. I haven't been outside, but I am enjoying the view of my trees. <laughs> it doesn't look cold. I feel warm, but I haven't gone outside today. <laughs> Brat 46 said to dig a pit in the snow, lay down a tarp, and fill it with water for an ice skating rink. Okay. I would fall on my butt. <laughs> uh, that's a good idea, actually. That would probably work here. Oh, yeah, like, probably. Well, my kids filled, um, you know those Dixie cups that you can use in the bathroom? Yeah, mm -hmm. they filled them with water and put them outside because they wanted to see what would happen. And I'm like, um, <laughs> they'll freeze. <laughs> so they froze solid, and the kids peeled like the Dixie cups off, and so now they have these big, huge ice cube things. It's so funny. Oh my goodness, they love it. Samantha Jen Jenkins said, "I ordered my first Cotton Cuts mystery quilt. So sweet, and I can't wait to get my clues." Oh. I think they shipped them all out now, like today. Hopefully. We'll see. They'll get here when they get here. Yeah. And when they do, then we'll sew them together. And don't forget, guys, that they, they got an ice and snowstorm there, too. So if they're delayed, it's probably because they're stuck in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my quilt project says, so yeah, I need a timeout. Last D stash, I bought nine bolts of fabric. And I did not need any of it. <laughs> Whoa. Nine bolts. That must have been a... Doreen wants an update on my windows. They should have oh. been um, in yesterday. And our, the schedule that I have, the last update that I have, is they will be here Monday to be installed. So as soon as I know something, keep. I'm sure I will post pictures and all sorts of things on Instagram and Facebook. So just stay yeah. tuned. Can't wait to see them. What Martha said, thinking? you ladies look great. Becca, you have seemed so happy lately, more with your healthy living you are doing. I, You know, it's a combination of the more energy and feeling better from eating better and getting more exercise, but it's also because I have, a, I have my place to decompress. It's amazing how much of a toll it can take on your mental health when you're not carving out time to do things for you to recharge yeah. when you're just running from one responsibility to the next and you have no time for you, it takes the stress on you. And when like, even if you do have time for it, if you don't have a place to go where you can fully truly unwind and just relax, that can take a stress too. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Donna said, I have, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just reading comments. Um, Donna Regs said, I have an addiction to so yeah. I retired a week ago and I'm afraid I'll need to check myself into rehab. If the so yeah <laughs> rehab is a retreat, count me in. There you go. <laughs> Do you go to so yeah rehab with all of your so yeah fabric in a machine and you just make stuff and you can't leave the rehab until you've made all the projects? Because I <laughs> don't. With all the fabric. All the fabric. Some of us have for a real long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, Heather Grint said, blow bubbles outside during freezing weather and watch what happens. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah. Does it like crystallize in the ends? What happens? I don't know. I've never done it, but if it's that cold, I don't think I want to be outside. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Nancy Guess says, I got my order that I placed in January. It was supposed to have been fat quarters, but they were four inch by four inch squares. Oh. From, so yeah. Is that what she talking about? Yeah. Oh. Did you let them know? Hopefully I definitely did. would let them know. Yeah. They'll make that right. 
Thank you, Dory. Jamie said, so yeah, rehab retreat, make it happen. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, While we're at I, the retreat, we'll put so yeah on the big screen and we'll all be sitting there like, oh, I got to buy that. And then the other people are <laughs> like, hold your hands down. You can't do it. <laughs> Well, we'll bring Sonia up on a big screen, but we'll make everybody check in their device like they do the keys when you go to a party for your car. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> and Natalie said, I will be sleeping. <laughs> so, yeah, rehab, retreat, make it happen. Natalie's like, sure, that sounds great. I want a weekend of just sleeping. <laughs> Sometimes you kind of need a retreat just to sleep. <laughs> Karen said, am I the only one that can watch them and not never buy anything? No, I think there's a lot of people that watch and, no, and don't always buy. I pretty much, I do watch them. I don't always say anything, but I do watch them most of the time and I rarely buy things from them. Now, I lurk when they first started and Becca told me about them, holy mackerel. That's before somebody said, write down what you, what you bid on because you're going to get a surprise crazy bill. That was me. Yep. I think I we got all got that first invoice. You're like, well, what the heck? It's the same. <laughs> it was the same thing. Cause like when you go to a quilt shop, I always, I, I get that sticker shock at the register, right? It's, it's the same thing. It's not anything new, but the difference yeah. is when you're shopping online and you have a traditional cart, you can see your cart, you can see your total and change your mind. Right. Yep. And when yep. you're in a quilt store, you're physically carrying around bolts of fabric or pre cuts or whatever. And so you, you, your limit is kind of like, okay, I can't carry anymore. But in the world uh -huh. of the YouTube sale, there's no cart and there's no physical limit. Like you just keep no. adding it. And if you don't pay attention to what you've gotten, like, somehow make a tick mark or write down exactly what you got by the end of the night you might forget and yeah yeah i did that a couple times and i was like oh i can't do this anymore yeah yeah yep, so yep. i i'll watch a lot of times and I, I think you do this too but i'll lurk sometimes in the chat yeah so just youtube trick for you guys when you're in the chat and you tag somebody you can tag people that are only active or have been active in the chat. So just because you can't tag somebody doesn't mean they're not watching. It just means they haven't right. typed in the chat right. yet. Right. But I've, I, I have definitely had those moments where they'll pull up something and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to buy that. But I know if I shout out the number, I'm going to get, hi Becca, hi Becca, hi Becca. And I want to respond to every single person. If I'm on my phone, it's really hard to do that. So sometimes I'll let stuff go by. <laughs> So anyway, um, Nancy said it was Walmart. What was Walmart? What did I miss at Walmart? Oh, uh, maybe Kathleen, go ahead. Maybe the four by four squares. Is that what it was? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That sucks. I'm glad it wasn't like a quilt shop, but oh, Kathleen said they have carts in PA. Some of those stores have really big carts. Um, so yeah, actually has nice carts they're not like shopping carts they're more like you know those dollies or those trolleys that you buy to move stuff like around an office you know what i'm talking about like the AV yeah. carts and stuff yeah they have those and they're just big enough that you can stack bolts like lay them on them they're well, that's really clever. nice they have, it's super clever i'm actually really impressed with their physical with their physical store oh angela said you should open a second anonymous account that's great. I'll make the uh, name Anonymous Becca. Will that not work? Uh, nah. I should just start buying under Zoe's uh, YouTube channel, YouTube name. She yeah. made her Google name say unnamed. That'd be great. I'd be like, unnamed, unnamed, unnamed. <laughs> Oh, Natalie says, Karen, I've never purchased anything from Soya. I support Etsy when I can find it. I like oh. that because Etsy is powered by a lot of small businesses. Yeah. Thank you, Natalie. Um, the Crafty Panda said, hey, Steph, I've heard you mention a retreat you're doing in April. Do you have any openings? I miss being a part of my local quilt guild and quilting with fellow quilters. I'm in Leesburg, Virginia. 
No, no openings. And I've had a lot of people ask, I've got a wait list a mile long. And I don't think anybody that has a spot right now is going to give it up. <laughs> it's about eight weeks away and everybody's very excited, which is fun. But I'm hoping to do a second retreat in the Lancaster PA area. So um, I probably in the next two months here should know if I can make that happen or not. And then I'll let everybody know. So maybe a second one. And that would be in September. Cause I'd want to do awesome. it for the weather turns, you know? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. She actually doesn't live too far from me. So maybe, maybe we could do some sort of a, some sort of a meetup in Northern Virginia. Cause I know there's a few other people that live in this area. It'd be fun to have a quilty party in this area. It's just finding a place that can host. I can have one person. I can't have more mm -hmm. than that. <laughs> that spot has a name on it already. Oh, Doreen said, you're drinking my favorite, the nectar of the gods. I'm drinking Sunkist. <laughs> oh, I haven't had a Sunkist in forever. There's zero sugar. So we always, if we do soda, we always get the zero sugar stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But I've been really on like a 7-Up or a Sunkist kit. So I've been, yeah, mm. I've been nursing this literally all day. <laughs> it takes me forever to go through a can of soda. Corinne says, hi, ladies. Both of your hairs look lovely. I, I Thank you. I did nothing. I said, mom bun. Me either. <laughs> Pick up in a bun. <laughs> Mary said, we're helping you save money when we say hi to you on So Yeah. <laughs> Rafty Panda said, I used to help plan our guild retreat. So much work, but so much fun. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it is a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. <gasps> oh, 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 Pat Strawhouse is going to be in the States in September. She's going to be in Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Where, when? In September. Do you know? Like the dates? That would be fun. Let me, um, are you, are you done with your flying geese units yet? Yes, ma'am. Oh, well then let me get back to sewing. I'm going to start making all my half square triangle <laughs> units. I'm yeah, just sitting here reading all the chat. <laughs> I know. I was just putting my fabric on top of like all the pieces, like matching them up. I'm going to make oh, all of David my had, Kathleen Davis said, ooh, if that involved lots of shopping in the PA area, I would love that. Tons of goods, quilt shops in the Lancaster area. Yeah, there's um two that I absolutely love in the Lancaster area. I mean, there's a ton of them, and they're, they're all great in their own right, but there's two that I go to every single time I go to Lancaster. So what are those two? What are your two favorite? Um, one is in Bird in Hand. And I can't think of the name of the shop. I'm terrible with names, you guys. Like terrible. I swear was sometimes called, I huh? Was it that log cap? Was it called like log cabin or something? It might be. It was that one on the corner there by the railroad tracks. I think it was called like the log cabin quilt or something like that. It could be log cabin quilt shop. And then I like that old country store over there in um intercourse. Oh yeah, that one's really good. I forget what that one's called, but I love that one. It's called the old country store. Or old country quilt store or something like that. That's one where we got our ironing board thingies. Crafty Panda. Yes. Crafty Panda said, is it Zooks? No. Rowena Goat like has never been to a retreat. She said she would love to go. Oh, Rowena? Awesome. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Log Cabin. Log Cabin Quilt Shop. Yep, that's right. Good thinking, Becca. Well, I got a memory like a steel trap. <laughs> I don't. I, I know where it's at because once I drive something, I can always find it again. I know exactly how to get there, but I'm terrible with names. Like, I can't remember any names. <laughs> Obsessed is closed. Ruth Craig says obsessed is closed. I don't know what that is. Probably a quilt shop in uh, Lancaster area. Yeah. I like Burke Holders too. Have you been to Burke Holders? Yep. They have so much fabric there. 
Albies is closed. Did you go there? I don't know. I don't. Think I just I know that I, I don't. I don't think so. But I've not been to Lancaster a hundred times. I've only been a couple times. Oh. Harry Lucina said, "I've never been to a retreat. Would love to go. I'm not that far from Lancaster. Awesome." So the retreat that I'm having in April, just so you guys know, is a very organized retreat. Like we have, I have projects that we're doing that I'm providing the kits and all that stuff for. Um, it won't be like that. The second one in Lancaster, it's going to be a bring your own UFO and work on it. And we're all just going to sit in a room and chat and sew together for a couple of days. Um, it's a lot of work. I did a lot of work to um, get this one done and come up with the projects so um i think what i'm gonna do going forward is have two retreats a year have one where it's like organized with projects and the second one's a ufo retreat just to make it a little easier on me so i think that's have a lovely you, idea yeah have you eaten at the bird in hand family restaurant yes yes we have Is Obi's the one where there was like fabric everywhere and you didn't know where to look and it was very disorganized? Is that Obi's? Um, camping near Lewisburg, PA. I don't know where that's at, but from September 13th through the 21st. Hi, Teresa Louise. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Uh, the Crafty Panda said, I like the pretzel place in Intercourse, which is next door to Zucks, our guide. Used to do semi-annual bus trips to the Lancaster area. I miss those too. The restaurants in that area are amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's really only a couple hours away. We could do a day trip. Let's get a let's get a van. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bernie's Well, I think what I'd like to do if we're gonna do one in Lancaster and do um a UFO thing is maybe take a day of that and go to some of the quilt shops all together as a group. I think that would be fun. Rowena's asking, do either of you long arm quilt for other people? Yes, I do. Um, Becca does not. She long arms for herself. I do for other people. I am stingy with my long arm time. I don't give it away for free and I don't give it away for money. <laughs> I don't give it away for free. <laughs> No, actually, I guess that's the wrong. I didn't know what I was saying. It was one of those things where my, my mouth opened. Stephanie doesn't give it away for free either. However, um, I don't give it away even for money is what I should have said. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Steph, Sherry says, if you are going to have just a bring your own thing, can we just come to sew? And then that frees up a physical room for someone who might be farther away. It would depend on where I end up having it. If there's a room big enough where there can be um, extra sewing spots, then yeah. Um, 
but it's just going to depend on where I end up having it because a lot of places, like if they have eight rooms or eight beds, they have like eight sewing spaces. So yeah, I'll have to, um, I've got a couple of places in mind that I'm looking at. I'll have to see, um, how that works. So, but definitely if we could accommodate that, I would, I would be happy to do that. Crafty Panda said, I'm available any weekend except the last one in April because I'm taking the Amtrak to New York City for the day on the 30th. Oh, maybe she's talking about the day trip or coming over. Yeah. <laughs> and you're I think, she's, I think she's um, responding to when you said, oh, let's take a day trip to Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a day trip, uh, Rowena, Rowena, but I would totally go. Yeah. Rowena wants to know what do, if you have a ballpark of what the retreat would cost. She asked me about the retreat or long arm quilting because I think she was asking about long arm oh, quilting. What the, sorry, I was probably long arm quilting. That would yeah. make more sense. If you're interested in that, you can go to my website, stephanies-stitches.com, which is in the description box below, and you can find out that information. Now, the link that I put below actually is to my spring mystery quilt sew along but if you go there it'll take you to my website and you can find the tab that says long arm quilting Dia Linda said, my first retreat in April with my coworker is a bring your own projects and UFOs in Maine. And it's near a whole bunch of quilt shops and other shops and near the beach. Oh, fun. That'll be a great time. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be warm enough that you can actually see the water and stuff. I mean, I know you won't be able to go in it, but... <laughs> Pat Strawhouse said, I'll have my A-liner trailer in Pennsylvania in September and I could just camp nearby. <laughs> I might move into Pat's trailer during the retreat. Okay. And I'll, I'll camp in her trailer. It'll be great. <laughs> well, in fact, we'll all just go into her trailer. We'll all just whole retreat in Pat's trailer. He might kick us all out if we try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Lori Fair said, I, uh, oh, yeah, I, I, okay. I really want somebody to do this one. But Lori Fair said that there's a place in Southern California where sewing retreats can be had. And it is about one hour from Disneyland and wine country. I am all about that one. Somebody set it up. Tell me when. Sherry Pickle said, I would happily pay for a spot to sew and a shopping trip. Yeah, I think that would be fun. I think. Um, if I can get the Lancaster one together, since it's just going to be a UFO thing and not an organized project um, retreat, I would try to arrange like some kind of uh, bus to drive us around to all the shops. So that way we can all go together. We don't have to take 500 cars and we'll just have a tour bus take us out to all the shops and we can all shop together. Sherry said, Sherry Pickle said you mm -hmm. i'm sorry sherry harris said you need to bring a retreat a little further south oh uh. i think stephanie you could probably arrange a retreat at pretty much any location you wanted to go to i think people would show up i would love to go i love um tennessee and i would love to go back to the gatlinburg pigeon forge Seaverville area and um do a retreat there. I think that would be fun. Yeah, it would be. Oh, thank you, Karen. Karen said, if you're interested in Steph's quilting, I can say she does an excellent job. Thank you. I will second that. Karen's was a lot of fun. She sent me uh, three wall hangings. One of them was my winter project wall hanging or my winter wall hanging winter frost. So it was fun to quilt that for her. How many people 
are how many people are you having at your retreats? This one coming up in April is 24. I won't have more than that though, because then I can't get to know everybody. Um, that's quite a bit, but I already know about half the people coming. So it's all right. Um, Oh, thanks, Emily. You guys are so sweet. Um, Samantha said you could bring your retreat to Aberdeen, Scotland. Oh, I would love to do that. <laughs> I would love to come to Scotland. I'm not sure what the co what the oh I can't say the c word, but the c word if we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said the c word. Um. Emily said she would second that. She's sent about four or five quilts to Stephanie. Brenda said she's down for Gatlinburg. Hmm. Yeah, I love Gatlinburg. I would love to do that. Heather said, uh, you should look into Texas. I might actually be able to go to that one. Uh, no offense, Heather, but no, thank you. <laughs> Texas is too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. <sighs> and too far. It would take me probably three, three, at least three days if I drove straight through every day to drive there. So yeah, and that's the one thing that I think I'm learning just listening to how you're coordinating and planning the retreat for this time around. You almost have to drive because you're bringing so much stuff for everybody else. Yep. Uh, Pam says, I love both of you, and both of you look very nice with your hair up. Too cute. <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I want to do like a UFO retreat one time and then the other time do the project retreat because doing a project retreat every time like I don't know if I'm going to even be able to fit everything that I need to bring in my car to bring down even with all the seats down in the van <laughs> beehive buzz says wait what what why can't you say the c word on youtube um because they can flag our channel and shut you down it's a controversial topic and so they, they won't they'll um you do it enough times and it becomes a demonetization thing because it's a sensitive controversial topic she's talking about the so we come up with other ways to refer to it the virus that shall not be named like harry potter <laughs> But Natalie said everything is bigger in Texas. Everything <laughs> is hotter in Texas. cool project said I thought the C word was children. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Chores, children, cook, all of those things. I'd be really in trouble if the C word was children because I have four. <laughs> Thanks, Marla. I appreciate that. 
I think I'll be okay as long as I don't go nuts packing my own stuff. But lots of things to bring. Aw, oh, Nancy Gus sent you a tip for five dollars. Aw, oh, thank you, Nancy. Oh, you guys. You guys are so sweet. Really appreciate it. Get yourself a cup of Starbucks. Yum. That would be amazing. You guys have um Big V coffees by you? Just curious because a new coffee shop called Big B Coffee just opened over here and it's just as good as Starbucks and cheaper. I really love it. I don't, is it like, no, I, I don't think it is. We have a Pete's, P E E T. Everybody loves that. But yeah, yeah. The other one. Yeah, we don't have any Pete's anymore around here. We did for a little bit. Um, Brenda yeah. Foley, I'm an hour away from Steph. Yeah, Marla lives here in Ohio. Not too far from me. Pat said, I don't know, or I forgot who suggested that you put the white vinyl on your so easy table, but it was a brilliant idea. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, it feels like the Juki's built into the cabinet. Like, it. I love it. <laughs> Natalie said no to children. No <laughs> to children. <laughs> Oh, goodness. The night closes in. Can always count on me to give you an earworm. I have May plenty not. of children, Natalie. I can share if you like. <laughs> but you don't get to pick ahead of time which one I'm going to share, so. <laughs> And I can tell you right now, though, it's not going to be Mr. Sweetface. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a happy baby. He is. My youngest little dude, my baby. We call him Mr. Sweetface because he smiles all the time. He's such a sweet little thing. He's very scrappy, though, lately, too. Our um, middle son, we have one daughter and three sons. Our middle son has been um, kind of jealous, been jealous of Mr. Sweetface lately. So he's been stealing toys out of his hands and kind of pushing them around. And oh, no. Sweetface is like, I'm not taking this anymore. So the other day he pushed him back and I was like, ooh, you're getting scrappy. <laughs> Lori Fair said, I just got a notification that I got a package from Stephanie Stitches in my mailbox. I think a walk down to my mailbox is in order. Can I, can I, I want to go. I'll go. It's probably her spring um, quilt kit. I'm glad to oh, see that, that they're getting to people because I was worried with the snowstorm <sighs> that they would be sitting someplace for a while. We'll take Sarah, Teresa. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's pretty awesome. She's very mature. And Teresa, she would love to sit and sew with you all day. She loves to do crafts. And so she likes to paint. And I know you like to do all that stuff. So she would have fun at your house. She's a, she's a miniature mommy. She's a big help with the others, too. She's very grown up for her age. <laughs> now, Stephanie, I have four. Please, no more laundry. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you guys that that's the hardest thing with a big family is the laundry never stops. <laughs> it's never caught up ever. There's either stuff being folded or stuff being washed or stuff in baskets needing to be put away. It's never done. Oh, 
Oh, Marla, you got yours today. Good. Some of them went to the Akron um, Regional Marla, and they just kind of sat there for a few days. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I hope they start moving. Uh, Heather said truth. <laughs> You said dishes too, yes. Laundry and dishes never stops. We'll get the kitchen like all sparkly clean and then a couple hours later, there's a whole big old pile again. And I'm like, what in the world? Where did all that come from? Teresa McBrayer is here. Hello, hello. Oh, wow. Jewel said, or no, not Jewel. Sorry. Tammy said, my daughter has seven that are hers and five stepchildren. Mm. Wow. Jewel wants to know, are either of you going to do the mystery block, the designer mystery from a uh, fat quarter shop? Jewel, are you talking about the one that starts like in June or July, whatever it is? If that's the one you're talking about, I think I'm going to do it. I was actually just talking to Becca about that. And what do you guys think? Do you think, like, are you are you looking for somebody to sew it with? Or, like, what, what would you be looking for? Would you be looking for YouTube content on that or something? You had Buzz says, I have seven. They do their own laundry as soon as they're old enough. Ooh, come to my house and train my daughter. Yeah, Sarah actually does laundry because she gets tired of waiting for her stuff to be done. And uh, <laughs> she never has enough to fill the thing. So I'm like, okay, well, while you're doing it, throw some of your brother's clothes in there. So <laughs> I kind of get her to do other <laughs> stuff for me, but I don't expect her to do all the laundry. That's way too much for six for her to do all that. Yeah, for six people. Looks like Emily and Natalie are planning a road trip and it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, that would be awesome. Dio Linda said, I picked up some comic boards today at the local comic board shop and I'm going to start folding fabric on comic boards after supper tonight. Fun. It's going to take you a while. Just be warned. What? Space will run. It's going to take a while. Just be warned. Oh. <laughs> but it sure looks Lorraine's... pretty done because I saw yours and I've seen yes. a few other people post theirs when they finish and it looks great. I just love that I can see every cut of fabric that I have without having to dig for it. And then I can pull it down, get my cut off of the mini bolt and put it back without having to refold things. So it's the, it's the same benefit that you have with the bolts that you have in your shop. You can see all the fabric, yeah. pull it off, cut your yardage and put it back easily. So, yeah. All right. Oh, all of my clues are made. Emily said they're talking about the retreat in PA. Ah, they're awesome. all, like, they're already ready. They're like, tell us when. I know. <laughs> Jewel said, yes, it's the green and blue to sew with. Starts in June. Yes, I'm going to do that, Jewel, because those colors are like my colors. They're calling my name. They are. So the inquiring mind, the question in everybody else, in everybody's mind is, are, I know that's I know we talked about this and you were talking about, I know we talked about this, but it's going to come up. Are you going to sew that on your YouTube channel? I may sew it. I'm obviously can't give directions or anything, but just to sew it, you know, if people want to watch me sew. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. It could be a live, just like what you're doing now. You're just putting the clue together and talking in the chat. Get your camera angle set up so you have one pointed down at your machine. Maybe a picture in picture setup. I can help you with all that techie stuff, but if you That'd get your awesome. tech set up. Yeah, you get your tech set up so that you can have one camera pointed at the machine, one camera pointed at your face, do a picture-in-picture -picture action, and just go. It should be great. Yeah, that would be awesome. Sure. Okay. 
Diolinda says, yes, but I don't have as much fabric as both of you do. I like how people do it either by color or type of fabric. I uh, wanted to do that, but I wanted it to be on my shelves much more. So I just took it and splashed it up there. And now I actually, I kind of like the different, like how the colors all look mixed mashed together. But from an organization standpoint, my fabric is not organized at all. Not by line, not by designer, not by color. I will say that I have it separated only by whether it's prints or batiks. That's okay. it. That's the only separation I've done other than by cut, right? So yeah. my dream would be one day I would take everything down and I would put like backgrounds and whites like that in one area. And then I would probably do like my prints by color value or something. But the whole idea of it just seems a little daunting for me and I'd rather sew and I don't mind the way it looks with all the different colors mixed in because they're all colors I like. So I just kind of leave it alone. Um, Joyce Baker said she's going to do the designer mystery as well. So, okay. Awesome. I'm like, there's enough think... people that I could just sew it here on my channel and just for fun. And if they want to sew along with me, I think you should, That'd be I fun. think you're, you're always looking for content and you really like doing sew alongs with people. So this is a sew along yeah. that you can host the, have, I just, just, I just tell love people. the colors in that quilt. I just, yeah. I've been talking to Becca should. about it for a few days. It's calling my name. So I think I'm just going to pull the trigger. <laughs> pull the trigger. Just tell everybody to have their fabric starched and cut and then meet you on your channel at whatever time, whenever you do it. And that mm -hmm. way you can just refer to your fabric as fabric A, B, C, D. You don't have to talk about the cuts and you're not giving away the pattern. Mm -hmm. Or you can just sew it and just talk. Hey, Linda, I, oh, go, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Dia Linda said, but I don't have as much fabric as, as you both do. And I like how people do it either by color or type fabric. Okay. I actually don't have that much personal fabric. <laughs> I have nowhere near as much as Becca does. I have bolts of fabric because I sell it, but um, Becca definitely has a much bigger personal stash than I do. <laughs> but I don't have a shop. Uh, Jules uh, said, like my color is two. I love blue. Natalie said, my son put one pair of jeans in the washer. I'm like, not in this house. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Heather Jewel said, I'll watch it. I think I'll, I have decided that this will be the year of paper piecing for me. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. No, we're both trying to keep the chat going. So I'm reading yeah. about two. It's hard because you don't, it, with the delay, I I don't know when you're going to start talking and I talk over top of you and I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to do it on purpose. It just, no, I don't hear you. I'm going to finish my, I have one more piece, to, one more seam to sew. So I'll sew it while you. Okay. Um, so Jewel wants to know what's the difference between starch and best press. And that was probably a question I was going to have you answer. <laughs> do you know what the difference is? Starch and best press? What? Uh, starch. Yeah. If you use heavy starch, like Kimberly Jolly does, since we're talking about the designer mystery, which is that quarter shop, um, it does similar things to that best press does, but it's starch. So it's got sugar in it. So it can attract bugs. Number one. And number two, starch actually shrinks your fabric a little bit more than best press does not a lot more, but a little bit. So if they're, if they don't give you, extra fabric you could be in a tight spot but i know from doing things in the past with that quarter shop that they definitely are generous with their fabric cuts typically so i don't think it would be a problem especially because um kimberly jelly does promote starching but best press is a starch alternative it doesn't have the sugar in it that starch does so it's not going to attract bugs as much i didn't know that there was sugar in starch Yep. I'm eating some pistachios. Oh, yum. That sounds good. Okay, I finished mine. Troll. 
Already got them. The smell. Best press smells better. Yes. What's your favorite smell of best press? If you guys are best pressers. So this is a repeat of the clue from last Tuesday, but these, these are what they look like. Stripey, stripey. Stripey, stripeys. I'm going to guess that we're going to put these stripes in together in a certain way, and they're going to make something. I'm thinking some kind of heart or something. Probably. Maybe bunches of hearts and stuffs. And Lorraine said, what, I my wish my quilting stash was bigger, but I build as I can afford it. I also have a lot of other fabric clothing and upholstery that I need to use or get rid of to free up some space. Yeah, that's kind of what you do. You just, um, you know, you don't start off like going to a quilt shop and buying thousands of dollars worth of fabric and boom, you have a stash. That's kind of how we all do it. We kind of acquire a little at a time when you can afford it. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Del Marie said, I love the rose. That's the tea rose. That smells so good. Um, Emily said, best press smells too strong. I can't use it. Did you know they're scent free, Emily? Um, Marla said, cherry blossom, cotton li linen, and lavender. Sweetheart said, scent free is my favorite. Nancy guess, or Gus said, I love pistachios, Becca. Yum. Uh, Mary said Caribbean or lavender. Caribbean's my favorite. It's the blue one. It smells so good. It smells like the beach. Mm. Uh, Dar Lloyd said, hello, ladies. Just found Stephanie's channel and subscribed. Loved the show last night. Thank you. Woo woo. Pamela said linen fresh. The other ascents sense affect my asthma i've heard that tamla i've heard other people say that certain smells of the best press bother them the one that bothers actually there's two that bother me the peaches and cream and the uh, citrus one i'm not sure what it is but i like the smell of them but when i spray them on my fabric and i'm ironing it it bothers me it made me cough it's uh, it's strange joyce has lavender i like the lavender I like the lavender too. It smells really good. The um, Caribbean's my favorite, but if I had to pick another one, it would be lavender or tea rose. I like both those too. I've not tried the um, tea rose yet. Natalie, yes, I've, I've had the salt and pepper. They're delicious. Um, that sounds good. I love oh, Pam, this, uh, the free and scented 50 50. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a real good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Del Marie said the lavender makes her cough. So that's interesting. Mm. It's interesting how the different smells affect us. Yep. Nancy Gus said she uses the unscented flatter. Okay. I'm not a big flatter fan. Yeah. Agnes said I use the scent free, never been a problem. Kathleen said I prefer scent free. Joyce Baker said I have to use unscented. So it just, it must be like, you know, how people can smell or wear different perfumes and the, another person can't. It, it must be the same situation. Yeah. So. <clears throat> okay, my clue three is done. I'm gonna pack it back up. Me too, I already packed mine back up. I'm so excited. So the next clue is gonna come out monday so becca and i will do that and then the last one will be wednesday so we're gonna have Almost this stopped. done here pretty soon i'm excited where did i put my envelope for oh there it is here it is it'll be interesting to see how this all goes together i know i can't wait all right clue number four you got anything else to work that. on Oh, I'm sure I can find something. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you need to go? I am sure. No, no, I've, I've got plenty of time. I am going to go get some ice water and I'm going to go grab another project because Lord knows I have enough UFOs on my shelf that they need some attention. I just, I, um, I guess I could bring it over here and show you guys. I just finished putting together my uh, spring brick blossoms quilt. I bought some border fabric from Stephanie, so I got to wait for that to get here. But I can show you what that looks like. It's, yeah, well, I'll go get that and I'll grab another project. Hey, you should. That one's pretty. 
Oh, Joy said she likes the linen fresh and unscented. Lavender bothers her. Yeah. That's interesting how many people like did the different smells bother them. Yeah. So I made binding for my figgy pudding quilt because I showed you guys that back at Christmas time and it's been done for like a month and a half and I haven't had time to bind it. So I finally got around to making my binding. So I'm going to sit here and bind it. This is my Springbrook Blossoms quilt. Oh gosh, Becca, that is beautiful. Gorgeous. And it, I oh. love it because it has all those little metallic stars and stuff. Yeah. And it, the colors are ombre, so it has a lot of movement, which is great because the piecing on this is not 100 Oh, I could wear this as a dress. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Um, now, it, there, the piecing on this is not 100%, and so that that works out well because there's so much movement and visual interest going on in the quilt that it's going to really deter from that. So, That's gorgeous. I'm going it's to find beautiful. I really, you know the, I really love the green in yours because of the different colors, because of the ombre. Yeah. It's just, it's so pretty. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Oh, let's see. What do I want to pull? I don't know. I do not know. I have this blossom Ooh. quilt. Maybe I'll do that. The So Yeah Basics blossom quilt. That looks like an easy sew. Oh. And then I could have it done before the February box comes in. No. Or maybe I could get a quilt loaded on the long arm. I think that's what he was nice. asking yesterday about the So Yeah Basics box and asked if either of us had sewn it yet. I haven't sewn it yet. I was going to do it maybe on a live stream, but I could do start it tonight, maybe. But I'll be honest with you. I think I just want to reposition the camera. Oh, you know what I should do? I should bind. I have a quilt here that needs to be squared up, and I've got a whole pile of binding down here. I love that quilt. That's my quilt, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I know. I had to try. Heather wants to know what fabric did I use for that quilt. I used the Ombre Fairy Dust by V&Co for Moda. Marla, if you still don't have access to the pattern, email me. I'll help you out with that. Um, Dorlin said, I have allergies, so nothing that smells. I want to try the, the pressing pen, the acorn pressing pen. I use unscented best press. The acorn pressing pen, the solution has no smell. So just so you guys know. Oh, I gotta find a pretty fabric to use for the binding on this. Oh, Ooh, and you know what? Mom said if any any quilt that I tack the binding to the front, she'll uh -huh. wrap it around the back and stitch it by hand. So, uh, well, yeah, go. I'm gonna sit here and get all my bindings ready. So I'm gonna trim <laughs> this quilt up. I'm gonna be. She's gonna be. She's gonna be sorry that she ever offered that. She offered, right? She's gonna be like, wait, she slow offered. down. It's like, what? What are you doing to me? I'm like, uh, you said. You said, woman. Hmm. Joanne Bach said, Becca, your quilt is beautiful. I don't know how you ladies do all you do, working all week and then doing a live on Friday night and another on Saturday. Very inspiring. Thank you. Let's do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So honestly, I'm so like, it's, it's so funny because when I sit down at my sewing machine, I do enjoy doing sews where I'm not on YouTube because I think we do have to have selfish sews where we're not constantly putting ourselves on camera. But the reality is, is sometimes I'll sit down, I'll want to sew something and it doesn't feel right to sew without the camera turned on. So I'll <laughs> be like, oh, I, I got a stream because <laughs> like, I don't know what else to do. 
If it ever gets to the point where YouTube is a chore for me or quilting is a chore for me, then it might be time for me to reconsider my priorities and whether I want to do this. Give you guys a nice close up view of me squaring up a quilt in a very small space. Uh, somebody asked. Oh, Beehive Buzz, do you carry refills of the Acorn Solution in your shop? Sorry if you already answered. I had to step away for a moment. Yeah, no worries. Um, yes, I do. I carry the refill solution. I believe I still have some in stock. I just reordered because I was getting low, but I think I've got a few bottles left. Um, Sweetheart said, Becca, I have the jelly roll here ombre fairy dust i just can't find the right project yet to use it on that's hard right like yeah you wanna want to use the fabric but you know that once you cut into that jelly roll and you start using it it's gone and so if you chose the wrong project or you mess up it's gone like i can empathize with that but i will tell you just pick a project and don't look back because that fabric is going to look better in a quilt on your bed, on your lap, on your couch, then it will look on your shelf. That's that's absolutely correct. I'll come back to that in just a second. I just want to read this comment. Tamala said, watching you two has inspired me to sew and I'm getting more done after a long work week. Oh, I'm so happy. Yep. Um, so back to the sitting on your shelf versus using it. We all have stuff that we do that with, right? Mm -hmm. Um. I definitely do. I know Becca does. We all do. Yep. And it is hard. Like my favorite fabric line ever was a fabric line called Nest from Lolo Boutique. And I've been, when it came out, I kept it because the project that it came with in a, in a box that I got it from initially, I didn't like the project. So I kept the fabric, but I fell in love with the fabric. So I just kind of started purchasing more of that fabric when I saw it. So I've got a whole stash of that line and I've been waiting for just the right project to use it on. And I finally just found it this year. So I am super excited to pull out Nest and use it. But I think I'm most excited because it's finally gonna come out of a bin, out of my storage closet where I keep my personal stash uh, cause I keep it separate from my shop fabric. And it's going to go into a quilt that I can actually look at, cover up with, and enjoy. So I'm excited. Yeah, that's going to be great. <clears throat> <laughs> Kathleen Davis said, warning, warning. Once you start using the acorn pressing pen, you will be hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, Heather Grin said, camera down, camera down. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny <laughs> yeah the battery went on it thank you Teresa for taking care of that we have a lot of trolls today yeah no big deal they're really just bots I don't even know what the point of them we're just cool turns. not that interesting Marge M4 says, hi, Steph and Becca. Hi. I slept in. So, missed whole chat. Bad night. Oh, well. Love your hairstyles. It's Sunday here. We should have called this the mom bun sewing live. <laughs> the mom <laughs> bun live. <laughs> oh, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's a mom bun. Is anybody watching the Olympics? I haven't watched any so far. Nope. Usually I like to watch it, but for some reason I'm not, I'm just not into it this year. 
But I heard the skaters are doing well. Good. I can't wait to make my mom hand bind this quilt. <laughs> I can't wait to see it done. Oh, do do da And then day. give it to Stephanie. <laughs> I think not. We should do, a, I told Tiffany we should do a challenge where we pick the same project, the, like uh -huh. the same pattern, but different fabric and sew it together in a live. You and I should do a project or a collab where we make a quilt for each other. Oh, and that would only be sew it on life. Like, ev like however long it takes, like <laughs> whatever it is, we can we can only work on the quilt on a live together, and then yeah. at the end we can you can't reveal it until it's all done, and then we could switch it and reveal them for, to each other like on the live. Like you get oh, mine and no, show. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. See, look, all these collab ideas just running through my head. So Dorland said, so the acorn pen is a refillable pen. Yes. So you have, I'm going to show you guys really quick. You have the bottle of solution and this is the pen. So this is the tip that you would put on your, that you would push the solution on your seam. And then you take this end off to put the solution in to refill it. And the tips do wear out after a while. Um, when they get a little fuzzy, like mine is right now, I just kind of pick the fuzz off. But after a while, you'll have, but there's replacement tips. So you don't have to replace the whole pen. You can just replace the tip. But usually I use a tip for six months at least. Um, and I use that pen for almost every single project. So. Just the tip. Like, huh? Yeah. So I can't remember who said it, but whoever said it's addicting. Yeah. Once you start using it, you'll never not make anything without it. It makes your block so nice and flat. I love it. Kathy's Quilt and Craft said, hello, Becca and Stephanie. I'm late as usual. Hey there. Looks um, like Ellen Campbell's here too. Ellen Campbell. Yeah, Ellen quilter. Campbell. I just, I'm scrolling down. Yeah, hi, Ellen. Okay. Hello, so Becca and Stephanie. I'm happy to caught you both live. Glad you're here. Kim said she hasn't seen any Olympics. Yeah, I haven't either. Uh, Lori Fair said, I'm watching women's hockey currently on. USA is up to nothing. Oh, good. <laughs> Natalie said, it's Saturday night. They're fancy trolls. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> Nancy Gus said, I haven't watched the Olympics yet either. Crafty Panda said, you could do a run round robin. Uh, already in the works. Because mm -hmm. we need Something more than two people to do gonna that hear about in the future <laughs> yep. i'm gathering creators i'll i will tell you i am gathering youtube content creators um uh, some i'm trying to get some big names in it so uh more details to come stay tuned lois quinn said she loves to hand bind you can send me your binding i would be happy to because i do not hand bind i do not hand sew anything but i love the look of it i wish i did but i hate hand sewing and that's just, that's just me. I love the look of it though. So you ladies who do it, my hat is off to you. Uh, Patty said she just watched ski jumping and biathlon and she's waiting for hockey and curling. Oh, cool. Um, Brenda said, I love the quilt you made for the sewing channel, Becca. Thank you. That was done on a live stream with a cotton cuts box, uh, 2020, I think. I yeah, was saving that was quilt for a special. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was saving that quilt for a special, a special thing, and I just didn't know what it was going to be. And now we all know because it is no longer in my possession. Tracy has it and can't wait to give it away. But it did, you know, that whole collab with. Um, with the sewing channel to get me to start thinking because Tiffany does this too. I have so many quilts that I knock out. I think it would be really cool if I started giving away quilts that I finish as like prizes on the, on lives and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's cool. For a live Obviously, the one that I soon, I was going to tell you that I've got a few, I don't know if you guys are interested, but I have, 
so many like wall hangings and table runners and stuff that I've made in the last year for samples for my shop that I was thinking about maybe just giving them away for like prizes, but I'm not sure if people are interested in already made stuff or not. I think they are. I think it's different when you're on YouTube, when you take the transition into a personality from what I've seen, like on Tiffany's channel, I think people are interested in things that you would make. Okay. I think it think it's because it has a story behind it too. Yeah. Hi, Grace. Ice Clear is here. She said, hi, Steph and Becca. Happy belated birthday. I was out with Thank my you. husband and friends yesterday, so I missed your live. That's okay. It's We're okay. glad you're here. It was a lot of fun. Go back and watch it later. Nancy Gus said, I never, I usually never miss the Olympics, but not into it this year and watching your lives instead. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, lots of people saying they love hand binding, that it's relaxing. That's awesome. I wish I did. You know what I find relaxing about hand binding? Hmm. That I hand it to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Dara uh, says she would love a quilt that somebody else made. Oh, awesome. Oh, Brenda said, Lordy, yes, I'd love anything y'all would make. Okay, because I've got a bunch of things that where I made the sample and then we sewed it together live, but I had to make the sample ahead of time um, just to make sure the pattern works, like if especially if it's my own pattern. Um, so I've got like a lot of duplicates of things. So I didn't know though if anybody would be interested in that stuff. So maybe we'll do that. We'll have a, a giveaway with some of that stuff. I can show you how to set up that chat bot too. So it can do the giveaway without making it so difficult on you. It's really oh, okay. easy and it doesn't require any extra software on your computer. It's all oh, a website. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, Grace and I did watch the replay. Awesome. Okay, so you guys wanna help me pick out the binding for this quilt? I think that'll be fun. Let's pick out, yeah, I'll give you a couple of options. Maybe I'll give you like three. And then you guys can tell me which one to go with. So let me see if I can get this folded so that you can get a good sense of what the fabric looks like on the front and the back. Ugh. All right, so I know the first thing is because the hand, the binding is going to be tacked on by hand, I don't want to repeat the outer border as my binding because I want it to contrast. So I'm gonna look for something that will contrast and go, here, I'll put it this way so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna go pull a couple of fabrics that we could use as the binding. Pick something good yeah. since this is my quilt. Ah, ha, you. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's I love so Harper's funny. Garden. I know you think you do. <laughs> hmm. Well, if I put an ugly binding on there, then Stephanie will stop asking for it. So there's that. <laughs> hmm. No, that's the wrong color pink. Ooh, that's pretty. Will that work? No, it's more red than coral. How boring is it to watch me shop for my stash? So boring. Yeah, this is binding on my shoulder, Barbara. I am um, binding finally my Biggie Pudding quilt. <laughs> you guys might remember this quilt. It was my first Christmas morning quilt that I did that I've had done since like mid-December. I just never had a chance to bind it. So that's what I'm doing. I can't wait for it to be done because I really want to cover up with it. I love this quilt. Oh, awesome. Natalie said almost 200 people watching. Yay. Thanks, guys. 
don't forget about my spring mystery so along that's coming up um you guys don't have to have bought a kit for me you can use your own stash my cutting instructions and fabric requirement instructions are up on my website now and that link is in the description box if you want to sew along those that starts on the 13th sunday the 13th i will have a video tutorial for each block and we'll finish somewhere in the middle of march and it's going to be a decent sized quilt so i'm real excited about that and you get all the patterns for free to the night closes in. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Aw, Janice said, I would be so honored to have something you and Becca made. I would show it off all over Kentucky at Stephanie Stitches and so Becca. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. You would kill for that one. Heck no. Because then I'd have to get rid of it. Nope. I want to keep it. You can't have, you gotta pick something you won't like. That's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> to the night Hi. closing. Hi, June. <laughs> no, that no. If you if you pick yellow, you can keep the quilt yourself. <laughs> yellow or brown. Okay, I'll make sure that I make it like a mustard color just for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Jim said, please give a thumbs up to show your love. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. Jimbo! I mean, I feel like the two that I would, I guess I could always, I could pull these two. Okay, let me just see how these look. And then we'll decide. I'll narrow it down. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nancy Gus said she printed the pattern today. Awesome. All right. I like that. I like that. I don't love oh, that. I like the one that's yes. Oh. I I don't know. I think I've got like four or five options here. Okay, what do we, let's start really quick. Just the first question is the first question is would you do you think print or a solid? Uh I think either would be fine. I like the peachy print one or the solid peachy. Yeah. Those are my two favorites so far. But part of that is is because I can't see what the print is on the cream ones. Okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to change the technology a little bit so you guys can get a better look. Scrunch Onion says your quilt needs black <laughs> binding. Or no. The darkest... That's okay. she's got navy on the quilt, so black wouldn't look good. Yeah. And this is the this is the outer border. And I yeah. want it to contrast with the outer border because it's going to be hand done. So Jennifer said a print. Okay. And I've seen a couple other people saying prints, dots, print. Okay. So let me show you what the edge of the quilt would look like if I do this. I'm going to fold this in on itself. I just want you to kind of be able to see the, the back is a light blue. So just kind of keep that in mind. Well, oh, audition a for me because you know I love blue. <laughs> <laughs> so this, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. <sighs> Taking a minute. Come on. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear I'm not mean. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
it's taking forever to come. So this one is a dot. Hi. And it's got all the colors from the quilt in here. So it's, it goes really nicely. And mm -hmm. this is what it would look like. So we'll call this as option one. I want to kind of get these out of the way so you can kind of see what that would look like. That's what it would look like against the blue. <laughs> and Beehive Buzz said, keep trying, Stephanie. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm loving the dot, but that's the dot. Yeah, I don't love that one. I don't love that for this you. Is, yeah. I don't love this stripe either. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I do. I don't love the stripe because the purple in it, there's no purple in the quilt. Oh, okay. That's what's jumping out at me. And there's yeah. no yellow either. This well, is the... Oh, I love that one. It really makes those flowers in that border pop. It does. Oh, and this is how it would look against the blue. Mm -hmm. So still good. Nice contrast and it's picking up. This is from the line, so... But people are saying they're not loving the dot, so I've already put that in the discard pile. This is option one. So we'll call this the peachy, peachy stars. Okay. Beehive buzz says, gah, not the stripe. <laughs> this is the same print, but on a cream with okay. some reds and greens and grays and peaches. And I, I used this on the binding for the quilt my mom uh, hand bound yesterday. I like option That's one best. Work. I think I like option one too. A lot of people are saying too light for that. I thought this one would be fun. These are just little X's in the red, the peach, and the gray. You get a little bit more color in there, but it's still really light. Everybody really likes that peach. Everybody likes the peach. I love the peach. Okay, so my quilt, you can put the peach on there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we're, we know we want to go with the peach. The question is, do we want the solid peach or the dot peach? That's the question. I think I know what my preference is, but I would be interested to see what you guys say. I like the dot. This way. Yeah, I think that would be my preference too. One or two. One or two. One. One. Everybody's like, still option one. One, one, one. one. <laughs> Karen Cox is like screaming, Peach! <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Oh, you got one vote for solid. Oh. Dot Peach. I mean, the, I could I could do this. Look, uh, I could throw you one. guys all for a while. Oh, you, hold on. Where did one, it go? One, one, one. One. I, number two, two, one, 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 one. <laughs> one. Okay, here's number three. So one, two, three. Oh, that's good. It pulls out the inner binding. Uh, yes, please. I like number three the best so, now. I think this is the one I would go with. So we'll call this number three. Take the solid it's the out. Same print. Take this all out. Okay. okay. Just put those two. So these are your options. Oh, I like I like the darker one. Number two. And now everybody's saying I, I think everybody's agreeing that that yeah. this is the one because they started saying three, 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 yep. three, 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 three. Now. Yep. Okay, so this one. This is it. All right. Good. Hey, Regine, I didn't see you come in here. Yeah, everybody's saying three, three. Regine, Regine, I didn't see her before. Yeah. All right. Red, everybody's, uh, Joyce is like, I'm changing my vote to three. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Set the, yes, it's the same as the inner border, so it'll really kind of pull everything together. Yep. <laughs> Seely, you're making this too difficult. She's like, how about navy? 
<laughs> no, I don't want navy because I have navy in the outer border and I want the binding yeah. to contrast. No, I think that that red is perfect. Okay. You should have just showed us the red first and then we could have been like, okay, done. <laughs> you know, that, honestly, that's where my mind went first. I was like, oh, this one. I mean, I do, I have a green that could work too, but I don't know. I, I want to repeat that outer border with a binding. I think that's going to yeah. look really nice, especially since mom's going to hand bind it to the back. It's going to make the, it's going to give it that real. Yeah, no, that's lovely. I love Dio it. Linda says, Dio Linda says, no, I would not do the red. Well, we're doing the red. <laughs> yeah, but the binding, you got to remember, once she puts it on, it's going to be thin compared to the border. So I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, Ray Jean said, putting binding on a baby quilt so have been lurking. Oh, okay. That's all right. I'm glad to see you. Lurking is always fun. Uh, Steely said, I guess I don't like to have high contrast. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, mother. LaRae said, said, so fun. Need this kind of help for my choices. Yep. Karen, mother. Karen said, the vote is red. <laughs> <laughs> that straw house said the red will look great mm -hmm. it'll really frame frame it up real nice it'll be so beautiful I... on my quilt <laughs> <laughs> now now stephanie <laughs> think do you think six pieces of binding strip should be good i don't know we're gonna start with six we'll see what happens because your quilt i don't know oh <laughs> the crafty panda said stephanie is persistent <laughs> i'm trying i love that fabric i love harper's garden she was with me when I bought the fabric. Yes, I would. She was like, ooh, <laughs> they got Harper's Garden. And I went, where? <laughs> yeah. Matched it. <laughs> hey, Bettina. Bettina Fink is here. Uh, Steph, you're not calling it correctly. It's dibs. OK, dibs. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. <laughs> Natalie said, lurking is always fun when you're not outside someone's house. Natalie, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're wants to know how long we've been quilting. How long have you been quilting, Becca? Um, for about an hour and 48 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, it was funny. I don't think that's what she means. Um, I started sewing in 2015, in November of 2015, and I tinkered around with crafting projects and other fun things. And then in, um, 2000, in August of 2016, I took a, my first quilting class and I really started tackling quilting at that point. Barbara Jean wants to know how wide I cut my strips. These are four and a half inches and I will sub cut them down to two and a quarter. Uh, Philippa said, this was a fun way to start my day. Do you guys sew every Saturday night? Yes. Well, almost every Saturday. Yep, and I'm not always here. Sometimes Stephanie has a vet on. Sometimes she may have some other content creators on here. 
Sometimes she's here by herself. This is her live. I've just been tagging along for a lot of them recently because she's doing the puzzle mystery quilt for the Valentine's thing. And that's uh, something I love to get involved in. So I'm totally just stealing her spotlight so I can sew with her. <laughs> I love the puzzle mystery quilts. So Linda, she's doing um, two and a quarter inch wide binding. Yep. And I've been sewing, I've been quilting for about 15 years. I've been sewing since I was six. My grandmother was a garment sewer and she taught me how to sew. Um, I didn't think I was actually ever going to sew because I hated garment sewing. <laughs> I still do. Oh my God. I don't like to sew clothes. Um, she taught me how to sew like little dresses and Cabbage Patch Kid clothes and Barbie clothes. I just totally dated myself. <laughs> And um, I never really got the hang of clothes. And I thought really that was like all there was to sewing. And so I was like, I don't want to sew. <laughs> um, but my aunt is a quilter and she introduced me to quilting or she started making quilts when I was in my teens. And then um, I liked it, but I didn't start sewing quilts until my late twenties, so. Tiffany. <sighs> Tiffany's here. She said she had a, a nap and she just ate dinner. I'm glad you got a nap. Was it bacon? <laughs> I feel like every time I talk to Tiffany, she's like, I just ate a pack of bacon. I'm like, oh, really? girl, where do you put it? Oh my gosh. She put away a pound of bacon all on her own. I wonder if that's why people were asking me if I was eating bacon last night. Is it because Tiff eats bacon? <laughs> All the time. All the time. Bacon on everything. She probably puts bacon on her bacon. <laughs> Philippa said, thank you. I'm off to sew my open gate projects. Just received three boxes. Love the live. We'll definitely be watching again. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I was, um, I sewed in middle school too, because I don't know if they still do it anymore, but, um, do they have home ec anymore in school? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I had home ec classes and I was like one of the only kids who knew how to sew. Um, I did not do good in the cooking class part of home ec. <laughs> so thank really? goodness I could sew so that, cause that brought my grade back up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can cook now, but I couldn't cook then. But yes, I was one of the can. only people who could sew, so that was fun. It's always not in middle school yet, right? No, not yet. Next no, year. I didn't think so. I was wondering if they still do home ec. I have no idea. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany said no bacon today. That was last night. Today our neighbor made us French dips for dinner. Oh, nice. Nice. That sounds good. Barbara Jean Ritchie said, my grandmother did hand piecing and hand quilting. She didn't live near us. Wish I could have learned from her, but I'm very crafty. Yeah, my, my grandma... Um, like I said, she was a garment sewer. She wanted somebody in the family to learn how to sew and my mom didn't want anything to do with sewing. So I'm glad that she taught me, even though she, I didn't like garment sewing, at least she gave me the basics so I knew how to sew. But she also crocheted and her crocheting was amazing too. And I wished that I would have learned that from her before she passed. Oh, Lorraine said, Stephanie, my story is similar to yours, except I grew up sewing Barbie clothes by hand because I was scared of the machine. Yeah, 
I was never scared of the machine, but I was scared of the iron for years because when I, when my grandma taught me how to sew when I was that little, I burned my hand pretty bad. And so I never wanted to touch the iron. And she's like, you have to learn how to iron. You're going to have to iron your clothes. You're going to have to iron fabric. <laughs> Oh, goodbye, Beehive, Beehive Buzz. Thanks for coming. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. My granddaughter's in ninth grade and is taking home ec. Okay. I was wondering. I wasn't sure if they taught home ec anymore. They probably Natalie said they do not have home ec by it. her. Well, Tessa said I was crocheting this morning. Awesome. Home ec in Canada. Janet, we worked on um, a cotton cuts mystery clue and now we're both, I'm binding a quilt and Becca's getting ready to bind a quilt. Tessa said my Nana and aunt live together and they taught me how to knit and crochet. I'm the only quilter though, taught myself. Awesome. Delinda said I started to sew with her grandma when she was seven to eight, but she was discouraging and my mom got upset when she found out years later because I could have been a really good garment sewer. No more home ec here, but they encourage 4-H. Okay. Yeah, my kids are homeschooled, so I wasn't sure. My daughter's taking a homeschooled home ec program, which um, obviously is pretty easy for her because she already knows how to sew and she loves to bake. So I think she's going to get an A in home ec. <laughs> Except they don't call it home ec anymore. They call it like life studies or something. Yeah, I was going to say, they probably, like out here, I think they call it life skills or something. And I think her book calls it family life studies and it's home ec though. <laughs> Nancy Gus is the only quilter. She said she taught herself. Oh, wow. Tiffany said she had no interest in sewing when she was little. My mom made dolls and Barbie clothes and clothes for me and my sister. And I should have started back then. Yeah. I think you just have to find your niche because that's what I started sewing and I thought that's all there was to sewing and I didn't want to sew. So until I was introduced to quilting, now domestic you can't science. stop me from sewing. <laughs> oh, domestic science. <laughs> that's interesting. Aw. Dana Tigasaurus said, this year I've already finished two UFOs and I'm working on a new project, mainly watching your streaming, keeping me alive by your humor during the long night shifts at my sewing. Thank you. Awesome. When are you, so we, we have two more sewing sessions for the puzzle mystery quilt Yep. for the small one. So next week on Val or well not Valentine's Day, but next Saturday, do you know what you're gonna do? I have no idea. <laughs> now next Sunday is um, the start of my spring. Um, well, so I'll do something Saturday, but probably not something. I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you guys have anything? You... Huh? Didn't you say something about a project bag or something at some point? Well, yeah, I wanted to show how to sew a project bag, but then, um, 
Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's okay. Um, you did the key purse instead. Yeah, I did the key ring purse instead. But um, yeah, I if I can get a hold of, I need to go to the store and get some vinyl. If I get some vinyl, I may do a project bag. Have you made one with a vinyl front? Yeah, we did one on the live a few years ago. Yeah, I thought so. I got, I got a little bit of slack from somebody whose name I will not mention because I don't want to. Yeah. Apparently, they thought they had the copyright to that pattern, and nobody else was ever allowed to make it on a live on a YouTube video whatsoever. Oh. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure oh. this is. No, that and I, it, it is what it is, but. That's fine. Oh. I'll tell you about that later. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, maybe, but... maybe a vinyl fronted um, project bag. And I've been making them for years um, before I ever saw it anywhere on YouTube. So. Have can... you, there's lots of little things that we could do too. Like yeah. you do some lanyards, you do some keychains. Oh, girl, I cannot make another lanyard. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I started making them for the retreat, and I wanted to make sure so people can wear their name until we get used to everybody's name. And I wanted to make sure I had enough variety that everybody could pick a color they want. Well, I just kind of started sewing them and realized when I got to the end of my um, hardware bag that I'd probably made like 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. I guess I can stop now. <laughs> oh, you know what people have been asking for, if you can find a free pattern for it, is um, one of those little thread catcher things that you set on the side of your machine and let hang down. Oh, yeah. Oh, Teresa That's did fine. a um, project bag with vinyl on her channel. So go check that out if you guys are looking for that. She, she made hers with what she calls floss wallets. So like they're little things that you put down in the project bag to hold your like embroidery floss and stuff. It's kind of cool. Okay, I'll have to go check that out. That's awesome. Yeah, there. I keep I have it in my playlist for projects I want to make later. Oh, I know what we could do. What could we do? Hold on. Would you guys be what interested crafting? in making a little bag like this? Yes, you should do that. Okay. That just takes a little mini charm. This takes a mini charm pack, or if you don't have a mini charm pack, and if you have a just a regular charm pack, you could cut your charm pack um, squares into four. And um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I made this in... A very short amount of time. It didn't take much time at all. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I will get the requirements together. And we could do that on next Saturday with Steph. And Natalie I'd like said, to, I'd like to bring you guys at least one project a month that's like functional. Yeah, something that on my channel that we can just. Sometimes UFOs are great. Like today, Beck and I worked on the Valentine and then now we're working on some UFOs, but sometimes I'd like to have a project for you guys too. So if you like that, maybe I'll put the requirements together tomorrow and then put it up on the scheduled live for next Saturday so you guys can get the fabric requirements. Janet wants to know if we have embroidery machines. I do not. Me either. What size is a charm? Charm pack is a five by five inch square and a mini charm is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And this is made with mini charms, so. Two and a half inch squares, just grab some two and a half inch squares. Um, somebody uh, else put something. Oh, Dia Linda said, I took a quilt class years ago where I learned how to quilt and I made a bag for my quilt rulers and cutting board to bring to classes. And you would love it, Stephanie. It's ocean themed. Oh, I would love that. I love ocean, the ocean. I love blues. Yeah. 
<laughs> Natalie said, there's a thousand vital front project bags on tutorial or uh, tutorials on YouTube. She must be angry, LOL. <laughs> she was. So just uh, again, not going to mention any names. It is not a YouTuber. So I will put this out there yeah. and not talking about anybody with a YouTube channel, but um, she had just written a pattern and just got the pattern out into the public's hands and I had decided and scheduled before that pattern was ever in my hands that I was going to do a vinyl project bag. And I didn't follow, like, I didn't make it the same way. Yeah. I made it different. Yeah. And I did it on a live stream and I got an email about that. So it was not fun to deal with. Well, no, and Natalie's just, right. There's a lot of videos out there and you're not the only one, so. Don't even worry about it. No, no. <laughs> I think I'm going crazy, said Margma4. I'm sure you said there was a place called Intercourse. Good grief. Yes, it's in Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Practically Creative said there is nothing new when it comes to quilting or sewing. That's right. Like, you can only make so many things with half square triangles. Like, at some point, you're just doing the same type of stuff that somebody else has done. You're like, I I would never take, like if somebody makes a quilt pattern and all it is is half square triangles going in the same direction, I can't do anything about that. Like that's gonna, that's something that you can figure out on your own. But if somebody takes the time to make an intricate quilt, kind of like what you see with the Lucky Stars block of the month that we did, or some of the patterns that Stephanie's starting to write and put out there, it, even though they're a little easy, some of them might be a little bit easier, there are intricacies in there that took the pattern designer time to come up with. They designed the quilt, they had to test the quilt, all that other stuff. Even though you might be able to figure it out on your own, I'm not going to aid you in taking the pattern for free when you could just buy it for a low fee and pay the designer for all their hard work. So I may sew things that other pattern writers have written patterns for, but if it, it, unless it's like something that's just common sense, I would never give all of the pattern away in a video because it's just not fair to the pattern writer. But that said, there is a lot of stuff that just recirculates and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't avoid doing, you can't well, avoid things making become, things. Yeah, things become popular and people don't want to steal somebody else's pattern so they make their own version and then the next person makes their own version and then you got lots of them out there and then it becomes to the point where it's hard to make something unique and and even though it might seem like you're copying somebody if you didn't actually take their pattern and use it or share it you're not copying them you're making your own thing it just is similar i heard somebody say yeah. once like there's really no unique quilt blocks um like if a pattern designer comes out with a quilt because all the quilt blocks have pretty much been done. It's just the way you put them in the quilt and arrange them that's unique to the pattern designer. Yep. So somebody told me my winter forest quilt that I made during Vlogmas was copying a, a designer's pattern. And I was like, well, actually her pattern just came out two days earlier and I've been working on my pattern for a couple months. So. I didn't copy hers. It just happens that they both had trees. Mine's different from hers though. It doesn't look the same and my trees are arranged differently, but same thing. Like there's plenty of patterns out there with trees on them and that's just the way it's going to be. Yep. I just, and, I've decided in the past few months that I care less about what other people are doing on their channel I'm going to do what I'm going to do on my channel, period. And I'm just going to enjoy it. And if it gets to the point where putting videos out there or live streaming is so stressful for me that it's just full of drama, then it's maybe time for me to stop. Because this should be fun. And if it's not fun and I'm not enjoying doing it, then I have to ask myself why I'm doing it. Because it's not to make money. Because you don't make money at this. <laughs> I'm not going to get rich quick off of this. Hi, Polly. Hi, here for the fun. <clears throat> I missed somebody else. Oh, hi, 1914 Coyote. Thanks for coming in.
Yep. Laura Miller said, I like Donna Jordan's free bead pattern. Missouri Star did the chandelier, which was uh, based off of a Lolo Boutique pattern. Both look the same, but they're totally different techniques. Variety is good. Absolutely. I'm not going anywhere, Nancy. Just to make sure, like, everybody know, I, like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just saying, like, if I don't, whatever you, uh, it's not just YouTube. Yeah. So Donna, was right. she says, as long as you change one thing in a pattern like size or the way it's put together, you're not stealing or copywriting. So I'll yes. tell you guys this as a, as a pattern writer, you, your copyright is good for your pattern, but you only have to change your pattern or somebody can take my pattern and only change it 10%. That's all that's required for them to be able to basically write a similar pattern and call it their own. So that's why so many patterns do look similar. Um, I do try to come up with my own original ideas. I didn't see a tree pattern by any other designer. Actually, when I made my quilt pattern, my winter forest quilt pattern, I was thinking about my tree from my winter frost wall hanging pattern, which I came up with on my own too. But it just so happened that other designers came out with a pattern that had trees on it around the same time. So I got an email from somebody, but the reality is, is that none of the other designers that have tree patterns out look exactly like mine. And um, like I said, you only have to change your pattern 10% to be considered a non-copyright violation. So right. there's only so many quilt blocks, things are gonna look similar. I actually have been yeah. working on a pattern for our quilt retreat coming up. And I was on a Facebook group that I belong to for a quilt pattern writer just the other day and a lady posted a picture of her quilt pattern asking for people's opinions and it looks almost identical to the one that I'm writing and I've been working on mine for several months and I've never shown it to anybody. So it just so happens that she came up with a similar idea. It's very close to mine. It almost could be look like we copied each other, but we've never met each other. We've never shown each other pictures. It just, you know, blocks, you put blocks together and they look similar. Yeah, that's right. In order for you to make sure that nobody ever duplicated anybody else, there would have to be some sort of a forum where everybody that ever wanted to write a quilt pattern or ever wanted to design a quilt ran their idea across this community and somebody would have to oversee it and make sure that there was no overlap whatsoever. And it's, that would be, that would get really arduous. Yeah. I, gosh, Missouri Star has made tons of patterns that look just like somebody else's pattern. Yeah. Um, Emily is here said, how childish are they going to be mad that you wear pants too? <laughs> yeah. And probably that I did something with red fabric and yep. purple thread. I don't know. Listen, I don't, I don't really talk to this person. I never really have. So I'm not, I'm not over, I'm not upset about it. It, it is what it is. I'm sure at the time it was annoying though. It was annoying for a moment and then I kind of let it go. I just remember like every time I look at a project bag or think I, I remember that interaction. I was like, that was really weird. Okay, that won't work. Leanne. Leanne Davis is here. I didn't realize I was on the last side coming around on the back. I've been talking so much. I haven't been sewing. I've been working attention. <laughs> Did you realize you've got 214 people watching you right now? No. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hockey game, USA 5. Awesome. We're winning 5 nothing. Sweet. But Jennifer said, people need to get over themselves. Yes, they do. I agree. Oh, thank you, Kim. Laura 
sorry, Miller. Okay. One love said legends in their own minds. Yeah. That's fine. Let them be. It's okay. Okay. I got, I've cut too much back, bet, um, binding. I've got a whole big long tail. <laughs> Don't you hate that? You know, I'd, I'd rather have too much though than not enough, so. <laughs> cool, Tessa wants to know, Becca, did you have a good birthday? I did. Good. That was Matthew nice. said, thanks for hosting and let us join your virtual so along. Of course. Glad you guys are all here. And I'm glad I'm getting this binding on this quilt finally. I'm glad I'm gonna throw this at my mom and tell her to finish it. <laughs> hey, that's for super tech. You do a great job. Hi, are you able to share the link to the live video you made for the quilt that is part of the giveaway on the sewing channel, please? Yeah, so Denise, if you go watch my video my get my giveaway announcement video at the end of that video there will be a link that will have uh, it'll be to the playlist for all the tutorials and so the live video where i put that together is in that playlist i love that quilt it's so pretty it is but i'll tell you i like i didn't do the entire pattern in one live like i had to mess with it over the weekend to get everything to look right so like right. the corner stones I just I, I don't have a pattern for that I just put it together by trial and error yeah but you know if somebody wanted to write a pattern for that I was calling it my connect for quilt yes. I had all I had intended to write a pattern for it and then I realized I'm not a pattern writer <laughs> maybe I could commission a pattern writer to write that pattern. I'm just saying. You could. You might have a friend or two to do that. <laughs> I, I bet I could. I bet I could. If I wanted, I, I don't even care about making the money from it. Like I just, somebody out there is going to want the pattern. And yeah. I, uh, I do not have one. And I do not want to make one. Oh, your sister came home, Polly? That's awesome. Her sister had been hospitalized with a virus that should not be named. Uh, I'm glad she's home. She's Jennifer wanted to know if I could show my quilt once my binding is on. Yeah, if I finish it before we're done here, I will show it to you. I just got it on the back. I got to sew the last, the, join the pieces together and then flip it over. I'm just glad to finally have this thing bound because I love this quilt. I want to use it. Alan gave you a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. This is our, I guess our virtual guild tonight. We're so on. <laughs> yep. Uh, June said, I'm so disappointed in not getting the Spring Brook pattern. I didn't know it wouldn't be available to get later. It was going to make a spring quilt for my daughter. Are you talking about Spring Brook Blossoms, the one that Becca and I just finished? Because if you are, I think I still have them all.
Oh, did I miss it? Because Ellen leaving. Oh, Ellen had to go. Bye, Ellen. Thanks for coming. Arch Ann said, I should be binding two quilts, but I am cutting scraps. <laughs> Jennifer Turney said, so Becca, you're on fire. Look at Bubba go. That's all right, Bubba. Somebody, <laughs> somebody said that they got a Juki and they're going to name it Cletus, Bubba's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I was like, that's great. Bubba and Cletus up to no good. I'll put a tattoo on the back of Bubba that just says like, Bubba, and then a heart, and like mama. <laughs> Bubba love mama. Like one of those mom tattoos. That'd be great. Oof. Just keep stitching. Just keep stitching. Ugh. Finally got it on the back. I'm going to get it on the front. I uh, think I might need one more strip. We'll see. We'll cut it close first. I can't wait to see this one finished. Doing such a lovely job on my quilt. Yeah, well tell you what you bind that one i'll bind this one and maybe we'll trade uh <laughs> practically created said i'm thinking bubba is permanently home i think so too i think so <laughs> i think they knew they knew what they sent it to you you were going to be like yeah that's oh. is not that's not going back i think chankin was like I'll send you a loner. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> yeah, you will. Which has actually been good that I've had this because mom's been playing with the baby lock. So having the two machines while she's here is helpful. And yeah. she's planning, uh, they're moving in around March or April of next year. So over the next year, she's planning to make lots of trips up here. So having two sewing machines is definitely going to be something I need. Yeah. Is she going to kind yeah. of start slowly bringing their stuff over when she comes over? Yep. That's smart. And Judy L said, I got the New Year's pattern and I have two squares done. Awesome. 28 more to go. Practically Creative said, I don't know anyone who doesn't love their Juki. It's a great machine. And when you think like, if this was, a, honestly, if I spent like three or $4,000 on this machine, I'd be like, okay. But it's under $1,000. So... Yeah, it's not to love. Yeah. yeah. The question is, will this binding, will I need another section of binding or will this make it? Let's play some binding roulette. I need chicken. <laughs> Will it make it? I 
I don't know. I think I'm going to need another strip. Judy said her long arm's name is Miss Hazel. going to be close. Okay. It's going to be real okay. close. Yeah, I think I can do it. Let me get this tacked down a little bit more. All right, let's see what we got. Taylor Moment wants to know, Becca, if your quilt has a home. Yes, it's home right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's coming to Stephanie. <laughs> I'm not, practically creative said I'm betting her mom will claim it mom claimed the one with Minky okay she can't have both I, I only have one. One. no this one's mine leave me alone no you keep it it's pretty it is pretty but it, it, honestly the reality is I say no I don't want to give it away and then I'll find somebody and I'll just be like oh they need this quilt I think we all do that. You're like, oh, I keep so yeah. few of my quilts. All, yeah. Like, they're all out there in the wild, and it's not because I don't love them. It's just, uh, I feel like quilts speak to you with where they're supposed to go. Yeah. Every quilt tells you which home they're supposed to be in. And sometimes and they're saying, loved more than others. That one's saying, Stephanie, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny, though. I'm um, actually speaking at my local guild this week and um the president of our guild's like oh why don't you bring some quilts and do like a trunk show i'm like um i don't think i have enough to bring <laughs> because as quilters we don't keep all we don't keep a whole lot of our quilts right i don't i don't know i love i love making them and what really makes me happy is when I find somebody that loves what I made. Yeah. Practically Creative said, says who? She is your mommy. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, but I am keeping this figgy pudding quilt. I love this quilt. Oh, is um, that the one you're binding? Yeah. Yeah. Now the second the second Christmas morning quilt, the one I was working on last night, I could be convinced to give that to somebody. Because I have this that one and I really don't need two Christmas morning quilts and I love this one. That, that one I would make an, Huh? That one would make that other one would make an excellent five thousand subscriber giveaway. It sure would. Polly Lauren says, everyone, I, every quilt top I have already done she already has a home to go to. I just need to finish them. I would rather give away every single quilt I make to, if I had a hundred quilts, I would rather give all hundred quilts away to people who were excited 
to have them and would love them and use them than to give one of them to somebody who is going to fold it up, put it in a closet, and never look at it. Yeah, that's true. So true. Okay, I'm in the home stretch here. Okay. It's a little. Oops. It didn't lay as flat as I wanted it to. I don't care. So, you call your machine by its name, Bubba? Yup. <laughs> or every time you say that I'm like Bubba Gump trip. <laughs> All right. I've got I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what this is gonna look like when it's hand stitched around the back. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold on, I gotta get a nice long stretch so you can really get a feel for it. Oh, that's so pretty. That was the right color choice. That's, I love it. So this is what it'll look like when it's all done. Very pretty. Lay flat. <laughs> Are you hand sewing to the other side, Beck? I am not, my mom will. <laughs> which is why I attached it to the front. So I'm gonna sit here and press this open all around all four sides. And then uh, mom doesn't know how to fold the binding over. I, I learned this yesterday when I gave her a, the quilt. So I gave her quilt clips and I gave her a quilt to do binding on and she went through and did this number with the binding. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, that's not how it happened. That's not how you do it, Mom. So I sat out there and talked to her for a little while, and I reclipped the whole thing. And she didn't know how to do the mitered corners either. She just did, like, the hunt, like the straight fold over. So I was like, okay, let me do this for you so that you can just sew. Yeah. And it took me no time at all to do it, so. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Yeah, Heather said something about I must have been crazy after buying that Judy Niemeyer pattern the other day <laughs> and Julie Quilt said the hardest part of Judy is learning to read the patterns yeah, it starts to I make agree. sense after about the ninth time reading it I've got two kits by her and the quilts both look like they'll be beautiful and I am completely intimidated and I don't know if I'll ever actually do them. We'll do it because I've got one too that's an easier one and we should just do it together. Are there because online classes? No, not really. She had, well, she had a series back in November of free classes. I'm not sure. They were on a very specific quilt, but I know oh. her, supposedly the technique is the same for each quilt. But it is, it's like the, the paper piece and you already know how to do. The hardest part with her her patterns is just, it's it's almost speaking a different language. You just have to learn her language. Got it. So I know Yvette was doing or is doing, I don't know if she's still doing it or stopped or will pick it up. Like, I don't know any of this, but I know she was doing a Judy Niemeyer foundation paper piece project on her Wednesday night lives. Yeah, is she sewing. teaching people how to read that pattern or is she just sewing it? No, she's just sewing it because um, she keeps saying, which I understand she's not a certified teacher, so she doesn't feel comfortable teaching people. She's explaining as she's going, but she's just doing it for herself. Oh, understood. Okay. So kind of like what, what we do. Yeah. Just like, we're just sitting here sewing and talking and Explaining as we go what our thought process is. Yeah. Lori said she won a quilt kit several years ago, but she's too intimidated to try it. 
Wait, Natalie said my machine has no name besides the damn bobbin is empty. <laughs> Natalie makes me laugh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the damn bobbin is empty. That's funny. That was good, Natalie. Did you ever I, I know Bill Cosby is not a great topic. However, he had a lot of stand-up material, and my dad used to listen to his stand-up material all the time when I was a kid. Yeah. And there was one album that he had that was so funny because he was like, he was talking about, and I, I don't want to use the words that he said because I it's a type of swearing. It, I, I don't respect this type of swearing. Like, I, I can't do this. So, but it was, um, like, he said for a long time growing up, he thought his name was, was a certain word, like a bad word, because that's what his mom kept saying every time he was in trouble. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, it doesn't matter whether I respect that type of swearing or not. It's still, still shit. I, I don't think YouTube likes it when we swear in our videos. So I won't do that out of courtesy to YouTube as well. Yeah. So it would have been like, blank, get in the house. Oh, my uh, camera battery died. Oh, I didn't even uh, know you guys looking down. Me either. So people are saying that the Judy Niemeyer, the hardest part is is the getting used to how to read the pattern. Julie Quilt said she's done several of Judy Niemeyer patterns. Awesome. Any tips for us? <laughs> probably pull it out and start it. <laughs> yeah. It's probably she just said, like everything else where you're intimidated and then you start doing it and it's really not that bad, you know? I think she was the one that said it, you just got to read the pattern several times. Yeah. I've heard that, that you should read the pattern multiple times on those. So. See, I would have just opened it and started cutting out the pieces and doing it and then got frustrated. You got 225 people watching you, Steph. Well, us watching us. Well, either way, 225 people on your channel. Thanks, guys. Glad you're here. That's tip one, Becca. Read the instructions. Read the instructions, yeah. <laughs> Although, to be honest, you guys, you should be doing that for everything. <laughs> nah. Should, you should look over the instructions at least uh, at least once on everything before you start. All right. All of my binding is attached to the front and pressed out. So now I will go sit in the front room with my mom. And I'm going to pit, like clip this to the back for her. And I'll show you guys one more time what this will look like. Oh, so that's so pretty. You can kind of see. The binding obviously looks a little bit thicker than it's going to be when it's done. You love it. Yes. Yes. Laura Miller knows the one I'm talking about. Yes. Wasn't that the one where he said he got in trouble for correcting his dad that he wasn't JC? He was dang it. Yes. Because his mom was like, dang it, knock it off. And his dad was like, JC, get off of the carpet, get off of the bed or something. And so his dad said something to him one time. And he said, he told his mom, I'm not, I'm not JC, I'm dang it. Because <laughs> every time he got in trouble, it was funny. Anyway, yeah. yeah, so you know the one I'm talking about. And Kim said, it's just so much more fun to start without reading directions. Okay. You guys like my dress? I I had two. This is my second dress today. That's beautiful. That's my dress. You stole it. It's a strapless creation that I call Harper's Garden. I think it, it'll look better on me. It could also be a cape. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
That's beautiful. Do any of your boys do this with their quilts? Wear yes. them around the house's caves? They yeah. sure do. Okay. Uh, get over here. I'm totally going to go out there wearing my cape and just tell mom, it's time for you to bind it. <laughs> I love it. I love the bright colors. So speaking of patterns, um, reading patterns, if any of you downloaded my cutting instructions yesterday before noon, make sure you go and back and re-download them because I omitted um, some of the cutting in the background. I realized after I put it up there and I pulled it as quick as I could, but I saw that there was like 15 people who downloaded it before I had a chance to pull it. Okay. So if you've already you almost, um, printed it or downloaded it, go back and just make sure you have the right version. It'll be the in the background section. Just make sure it's the same pieces. Okay. How are you doing on your on your binding? I have the back on. I'm flipping to the front and wonder clipping right now. But if okay. y'all are ready to go, you don't have to. We don't have to wait for me. Well, I'm going to walk in the other room and give this to mom with instructions to, you okay. know, do the thing. I'll, I'll be back. back. Okay. Yes, I will be right back. I'm All right. I'll give this to her to hand bind. I'm going to give Maybe her we'll some just hang content. out till So Yeah comes on in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's good with me. All right. Look at this. I even have a thread that matches the binding. Look oh, at that. perfect. Look at that. Look at that. The, the front looks Over. like a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mother. Diana said, I'm working on my first quilt with a million pieces and made many mistakes, but I've learned a lot. That's the best way. Make mistakes, learn from it. <laughs> Teresa said, my son would put on a cape Quilt, put a Lego bucket on his head and run around as Captain Buckethead. That sounds very familiar. My boys do similar stuff all the time. Boys are so different than girls. Our daughter just was easy to potty train. She was, you know, pretty well behaved. You could sit her down with some toys and go take a shower and come back and she'd be there. Oh, can't do that with our boys. <laughs> they are rambunctious. They are the type that would take a quilt and wear it as a cape and jump off the couch. <laughs> Only made one quilt by a pattern. The rest I figured out on my own. Loray, that's pretty much how Becca works. She, um, made her first quilt with a pattern a few months back that I, and I quilted it for her. But most of the time she figures out stuff on her own. She's pretty good about doing that. Have you done a Harry Potter quilt? No, but I think that would be neat. It's easy to make mistakes when writing patterns. Once you get so involved with the pattern, it's easy to think it's all there. Yeah. I was up really late doing the cutting instructions so I could get them up on the website on time. And then the next day I was actually cutting my background fabric and realized when I was cutting <laughs> that I left off the certain step. And I was like, oh, shucks. <laughs> Cause I was following, I printed out my own instructions and I was following that. And I realized I had all kind of white left over and I was like, why do I have so much fabric left over? And then I looked at my original pattern that I wrote out on paper and I realized that I left off a big step. So. <sighs> I, uh, we bought a laser <laughs> pointer. Uh -huh. that's automated on a battery and so you just press the button and it just 
does this laser pointer dot all over the walls and the floor or whatever and it <laughs> drives the cat insane he loves it he goes crazy for it so I was out there getting water. I gave the quilt to my mom. I got to go clip it. So when we're done here, I'll go sit in the front room with her and clip it to the back. Yeah. But I went out there and the cat's in the family room by the fireplace, just full speed into the front room and then back. And then it like just running the whole width of the house back and forth as fast as he can. And so I was like, let me at least give you something to chase. <laughs> I turned on the automated laser pointer. That's, That's awesome. Fun. I will read the comments for you while you're doing that so that you can still stay, still stay engaged, but keep it going. But keep going. Uh, Terry keep wants going. to know what is the brand name of the beautiful thread? That's Aurifil. I only use, or well, no, that's not true. I use Aurifil for everything in my Juki for all of my piecing. And I use uh, most of the time King Tut on the long arm when I'm quilting, unless I'm doing minky on the back, in which case I use glide. And all of those are suggestions from Stephanie because she is a thread connoisseur. I know way too much about thread. She does. It's really ridiculous. TNC but Norton said I raised five, five boys and everything was either a cape or a sword. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They turn everything into a sword. Everything. Paper towel rolls. Um, anything. <laughs> Practically Creative said, and no one ever realizes how many times you'll say, don't touch your wee-wee, and not just to under five-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Gus said, so I need to reprint cutting instructions? Yes, if you got cutting instructions early tomorrow, if early like, yesterday, just anytime before 3 p.m., just reprint them. And if you are unsure, reprint them. Well, just if you already printed it and you printed it, if you didn't print it first thing in the morning yesterday, you may be okay. Just take a look at it. Look in the background fabric section. I'm not going to talk about it because um, anybody who didn't, if you want to do this, you have to go on and get my patterns or my stuff so but look in the background section and just compare what you have to what is on there now because what's on there now is correct there was just one line of cutting missing jamin james is here hello hello oh i feel like it's taking me forever to clip this quilt but it's going to be gorgeous. It's almost done. It is. I'm so excited. Are you clipping around all four sides? Heck yeah. Oh, is that how you do? You clip all four sides when you do that? Yeah. Why? Oh. You don't? I, 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 nope. When I do it, I normally attach it to the back, flip it to the front, and I just... I bring it around as I go. And if I want to be really meticulous, I'll iron it out and then bring it around as I go. Yeah, I ironed it over and now I'm clipping. I just, when it's a, I don't do this for every single quilt or every single project, but I do do it for quilts that are a little more important to me and this one is. Okay. So, I just Here for the sun, fun said, please tell us about the upcoming Charm Pack two yard event. So uh, this is really simple. I am challenging some fun content creators to come on a Friday night live with one charm pack and two yards of fabric and show us what they can make in a two hour session. That's it. There's no set pattern, no set project. I just want to show how versatile a little bit of yardage and one charm pack can be. That's it. Mm. Terry said, Becca, do you have any sewing advice for the pre-cut puzzle mystery quilt? I have never done one. Do you sew with a quarter inch or a scant? Okay, so two things I will tell you. The first one is I usually sew with a scant, and I mean a scant scant, quarter inch, and usually my blocks will turn out to be pretty dang accurate. There are size instructions in your clue that'll tell you what your what every step should measure up to so take that time to stop and look and see if they measure up if 
if they're a little bit bigger, trim them down. But if they're just a couple of threads smaller, don't stress. I will tell you, I have done puzzle mystery quilts where I did not trim every step of the way. And I have done them where I have trimmed every step of the way. And all of them have gone together just beautifully. The next piece of advice, there's three pieces of advice. That's the first one. The second one is when you get your clues and you're working on it month 10 and putting everything together, don't stress if you lose your points because the quilts go together and there's just so much visually that goes on in these quilts that nobody's eye is going to be drawn to a chopped off, a buried point or a floating triangle. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy putting it together. They will go together. I do find that if you sew with a consistent seam allowance most of the time you're pretty okay so whatever you start with just make sure you keep doing that and then the third piece of advice that i have don't 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 start your fabric before you sew it together because it will change the size of your pieces on two of the edges and not the other two so for example if you have a three inch square and then you starch it, it's not going to be a perfect three inch square anymore. It's going to be a little less than three inches going in one direction and then three inches exactly on the other one. And that can cause problems when you're putting things together. So what I personally do is I sew the clues together and then I put everything into the quilt. And then as I'm, because you usually start in the center and then start assembling around the center. As I'm putting them together in the center in the quilt, then I'm giving it good starches in month 10 when I'm putting it together. So at the end, I have a nicely starched and flat quilt top. So I hope that was enough information. And then, you know, honestly, another piece of advice, there's several Cotton Cuts ambassadors out there. I am definitely one of them. All of us are doing puzzle mystery quilts. There's a variety of us doing some, and some of us are doing them in small. Some of us are doing them in large, and we're doing them in a variety of colorways. So find one that you relate to, that you can listen to, and, and that's doing your same size. Don't worry about the colorway as much, but at least is doing your same size, and sit and sew it with them. They'll show you on camera or blog post or whatever their platform is. They're going to show you what they're doing. And you can, if you have questions or comments, you can put them out there. And that's what they're there for is to help you. There's also a Facebook group that goes through a lot of this stuff too. It's called Mystery Quilters. Check them out. They'll help you as well. <laughs> Craft Maven Deb said, Ugh, I already missed two hours of this live. Sorry, later, ladies. I said laters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see what else do we have in the chat for you. Denise Offenbacker says, I always iron it around because it goes over easier, I think. I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. Janet Johnson says she prefers to glue it down before she sews. I know a lot of people who do that. Yep. <laughs> Teresa and Tiffany are both like, I haven't even thought of what I'm going to make with the one charm pack and two yards of fabric yet. No. You've got a whole month. <laughs> uh, let's see. Terry said, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was a little intimidated. Don't be. These are very beginner friendly. Uh, my Your biggest thing is make sure that you can sew a consistent seam allowance, whether it's a, a actual quarter inch or a scant or whatever it is, make sure that you can do that consistently and you can sew straight. And if you can do those two things, you can do a puzzle mystery quilt. Yep. Tammy, the crafting disaster said, this is a new machine. It hates me. Oh no, what's going on? Rhonda says i'm working on a blankie from pineapple fabrics for my soon to be daughter-in-law with sunflower fabric with five fat quarters carrie richard said i'm enjoying the company i'm cutting up crown royal bags for a crown royal quilt cool oh no Oh, Tammy the Craft and Disaster said that she's sad because her walking foot broke, just broke. And it's a new machine and she thinks it hates her. I have a feeling Stephanie's like in the fast lane right now because she took all that time to press the binding and then clip it over. And I can hear the slight hum of her machine. I know that thing's going. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's got the pedal to the metal, boy. I bet she's going, like, speeding right down the left lane. <laughs> Joanne said, do you like your Juki? Yes, I do. Trying I to love get it down it. so I'll... I can show everybody. <laughs> oh, you can go a few minutes past 8 o'clock. You'll just save them from the announcement. It's so, yeah, and whatever. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to get so them you guys, so I can show you. I'm almost there. If I wouldn't have run out of bobbin, I'd be done. <laughs> I don't think you should end the live till it's done. What machine is it? Oh, you guys are asking about Tammy's. <laughs> Teresa asked her if she named her machine, and Tammy says, yes, I named it Pain in the Rear. <laughs> Do you guys know about, do you know about PETA, P-I-T-A? Pain in the A-S-S? -S? Ah, you can name it PETA. Debbie Williams said, why did you give up your baby lock for the Juki? I did not give up my baby lock for a Juki. I gave my baby lock to my mom. I still have her. She's here and I still work on her. And the reason why I went with a Juki as my new machine is because the price point on the Juki is under $1,000, and this thing handles everything I throw at her. And uh, honestly, all I ever do is a straight stitch anyway. And I don't need it for free motion quilting. I don't need fancy stitches. I have a long arm. If I need any of that stuff, I've got my baby lock. Tell them the real truth that you tried my straight stitch and you loved it. <laughs> I did. I will say that. So I tried Stephanie's straight stitch a couple of times, and I loved it. And I sewed on that same machine. Um, sorry. Um, I sewed on their same, I sewed on that same machine when I did the Brody challenge and I kind of had straight stitch machine envy. Honestly, when I bought the baby lock Aria, which I do love and I would highly recommend, it's just a different, it's a different machine for a different purpose. That will do everything I needed it to do. But when I bought that machine, I thought what I was getting is something like this with a lot of stitches. And I didn't realize that. I don't have buyer's remorse. Love it. The Juki is a TL2010Q. And I have, if you are interested in it, I do have an affiliate link with So Yeah. That'll help me out a little bit. If you're looking to buy a Juki, I can give you a special link. You can pick one up from them. They sell them for $9.99. This model, $9.99. Why are you calling Bubba a she? Uh, because Bubba identifies as a she. Leave leave Bubba alone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess Bubba needs a new name. What's how about Bertha? Like no, I like I, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba's good. Bubba, I I never even I never even realized I was calling it a she and using a she pronoun with the name Bubba. That's funny. Interesting. Tiffany okay. said, I'm going to do a small mail opening after Stephanie is off. So, so for more that want to save money, <laughs> you can come over for a short live in a bit. <laughs> Julie Quilt said, I wish T, uh, T Quilts would come on a little earlier on Saturdays. Heather Grint says, I've had two in the last hour. Bubette. <laughs> okay, this is Bubette. <laughs> bubbles. Heather said, how about bubbles? <laughs> yes, uh, Terry, I have an affiliate link for, so yeah, it doesn't work on the Saturday night or the two, it doesn't work on their YouTube sales, but it does work on their, on their website. So if you buy something from them and you use my affiliate link, it does help me out. Teresa said, Bubba can be a girl. <laughs> oh, Emily is here said, Bubba is grandmother in Hungarian, so it is a she. Okay, look there at that. Go. Bubba's a girl. <laughs> Craft Maven Deb said, there's no need to assign a gender to your machine. It's 2022. <laughs> It. <laughs> Bobby is grandmother in Yiddish. 
Math Geek says Bubbles was my mom's nickname. I like Bubba, non gendered. Okay, it. 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 <laughs> I'll try to remember that. <laughs> Rounding the last corner! Are you really? Dang, that's quick. Yep. I just got a I just got a message from Tracy at the quilting channel. They said at eight ten on the D stash they're gonna talk about the giveaway that she's doing. So I'm gonna pop into that chat just to be there for I'm going to dual purpose this thing. I'm going to watch. I'm going to be in two live chats. I can do that, right? Yes, I can. Did everybody leave for so yeah? Or are they still here? Oh, no, they're still here. Oh, okay. <laughs> they don't want to. You still got 227 <laughs> people watching you. I'm almost done. And I'll show you guys. And then you could go to so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep going. I was just opening the other. They're not even live yet. They haven't even started the live stream. You're fine. And Nancy Gas says, go, Stephanie, go. <laughs> Are you done? I'm good. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I've been wanting to find this thing for so long. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yay. I put green binding to bring out the green. Uh-huh. My quilt, it's done. Woohoo! So excited. This is my dress. I'll have a dress too. Woo! I love it. It looks oh, great. I'm so excited it's done. Here you yeah, can see the great. binding. I love that green with the red. It does. A party. So this Christmas morning quilt I'm keeping, but the other one I might consider giving away when I, I love hit 5,000 subscribers. I love the back. The backing? You want to see it? Uh-huh. Yeah, the, I love that fabric. Yeah. Plus I put a label. I'll show you. I love the backing fabric too. And then I put my label right in the middle. I see it right in the middle. So pretty. Oh, stuff. That's great. Yeah. Everybody's saying you've got like 400 people saying that's gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks guys. Somebody said, Oops. somebody said toga party. And I'm like, Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm so excited it's done. Thanks for sticking around while I finished it. Absolutely. It encourages me to get stuff done when you guys are here. And Teresa, you can't have it. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you said did. Nope. <laughs> I very rarely keep a quilt for myself. I'm keeping this one. This is, I love this quilt. Yep. Thanks I found, <laughs> I found, a, as I was unpacking, my one of my favorite fabric lines is Farmer's Daughter from Lolo Boutique. Oh, and I yeah. found a jelly roll of this fabric. I didn't even know I had it. And I've set it out. And now I'm trying to think of a jelly roll quilt that I can use that in so that I can uh -huh. have a Farmer's Daughter quilt. I, can, I, like, I don't know what oh, I want to use it yeah. for, but it's on my mind. In 2022, that jelly roll is coming off the shelf and it's going into a quilt. That would be awesome. Yep. All right, Becca, thanks for sewing with me and thanks for hanging out. I want to let all these guys go oh, so you go to sew, yeah. And thanks for hanging around. I appreciate you guys sticking around till I finish that. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> hey, okay. 
okay. Have a good Guys, have a good weekend, and we will see you Monday for the fourth clue from the Valentine uh, Cotton Cut. So, see you in a couple of days. Bye. Bye.